Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back for some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond version. I hope that you are all doing fantastically today uh, on this lovely this lovely uh, Thursday stream. My apologies uh, for the um, for the lack of stream yesterday and the the very like last minute rescheduling. Um, <laughs> if you happen to blame anybody, blame the Pokemon company for making that stupid Pokemon Direct at 6 a.m. my time. I mean, not fully their fault, but still, it was kind of upsetting because it was the sort of thing where it was like, um, I could not sleep to save my life, uh, the day before, but I, like, I, I had to see it live. It's just, it's just what I do. So I guess it's more my fault, but still, <laughs> um, I, I didn't get any sleep, and then I, like, watched the the presentation and then I couldn't sleep again after that so it was like my, my sleep schedule was all sorts of screwy and like I realized that it was going to be all sorts of screwy which is why I was just like I need to make an executive decision here that it's probably safer to just cancel stream and be you know safe rather than sorry later so that's why there was no stream yesterday my apologies for that but we're here on on this lovely Thursday to um to resume our adventure through the Sunno region have a good time and then, yeah, it should hopefully be business as usual for the rest of the week. So <laughs> it was so funny that I make such a big deal about like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to stream like a normal schedule this week. And then I just don't. So oops. <laughs> hopefully you can all uh, bear with me on that one. I appreciate it. But uh, hey there, Tiger. It's lovely to see you. Um, rar a rar. Very good. Very good. Um, but yeah, so um, let's uh, let's jump into a little uh, team refresh here uh, just so we know what all we're working with. I love this team. I've actually grown, grown rather fond of this one. Um, it does suck that we lost our Tyrogue a little while back, but aside from that, it's been, everyone has been here for, uh, the entire, um, for the entire time, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then, of course, like, Tummy is our all-star here. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let's see, uh, Tiger says, sleep schedule, what's that? Is that edible? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, what even is that? Um... But yeah, so uh, here we go with uh, with Fasha. Uh, very, very good. Let's see a little look at those moves. Flamethrower, Mock Punch, Close Combat, Double Team. Oh, so that's such a good move set. Oh, hey, Bulbasaur, welcome. Uh, Bulbasaur has answered today's question of the day. Uh, today, what is today's question? The today's question of the day is, what four trainers would you have go head-to-head -head in a Pokemon Battle Royale? Yes, that, that was, um, or Battle Royale. I always mix that up. Um, but yeah, so um, Bulbasaur says for that the for the answer to that question, um, Cynthia, Steven, Iris, and Koopy. What a match! Yeah, a bunch of champions. Hell yeah, hell yeah, Bulbasaur. That's a good matchup. Um, I love it. Um, it's also it's a really interesting question too. Um, I would probably do something pretty basic to be honest. Like I'd want like all like protagonist characters who like really don't get a chance to like go head to head ever. Like I would love to see like um, I don't know like May, um, Gloria. Uh, Serena and uh, Hilda go head to head. Like I think that would be a cool, a cool matchup. Just like all the all of those ones. Oh hey there, Pingu. Uh, lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Pingu says I sure have missed a lot if we're on Brilliant Diamond now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we we we've been doing lots of things, and yeah, we got uh, our first Brilliant Diamond playthrough, Pingu. Very good stuff. Um, but yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, jumping back into the team recap. Um, uh, but th th those are awesome answers, though, Bubble. Sorry, I love it. Yeah, we have Fasha. We have Travolta here, our lovely Electric Lunder Wave, Bite, Thunderbolt, and Thunder Fang. Uh, Ukulele the Pichu with Thunderbolt, Nuzzle, Nasty Plot, and Sweet Kiss. We have, of course, Petals. Oh, we love Petals. Petals the Venusaur with Protect, Leech Seed, Toxic, and Giga Drain. Uh, we have Tummy, our favorite team, uh, our, our, our definitely Chat's favorite. Uh, also, probably my favorite, too. <laughs> Who doesn't love Tummy? Uh, Tummy with Headbutt, Slack Off, Zen Headbutt, and Surf. And then uh, Crash here, of course, our big powerhouse powerhouse boy with Surf, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Psychic. Oh, goodness. I need to take a drink of water. I got a bit of a scratchy throat. My apologies. Oh, goodness gracious. My apologies. Yeah, I just, uh, out of nowhere, I just had that, like, that little tickle you get in the back of your throat. Like, I know the cough is coming. I know it's there. <laughs> I muted myself just in time. But, uh, yeah, so there's Crash. Uh, Surf, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Psychic. Very good. Uh, and that's the squad. It's a good squad. Uh, I rather like it. But, uh, yeah, so um, last time we beat, uh, we took care of Candice um, nice and easy. Uh, and then we, uh, we're basically just, yeah, we're just moving here. Uh, now that we have access to Rock Climb outside of battle, 
Uh, we need to go check on Barry at Lake Acuity. That is the name of the game here. Um, as far as what we have, like, it's, it's crazy. I guess it's just been a while since we did a, a game that was, you know, uh, this is a modern game, but it's also a, based on an older game. So it's like, I'm used to, like, there being, like, all these, like, bells and whistles, like, big cutscenes and blah, blah, blah that you have to go through just to, you know, get from point A to point Z in modern Pokemon games. But this one's pretty streamlined, so it's just like, yeah, like, straight up, we just have to go beat Team Galactic real quick uh, in their base, then go to Mount Coronet, and then basically it's just 8th gym time after that. I'm not sure exactly how far we'll get, but I legitimately think that we'll finish uh, Brilliant Diamond here in, like, the next couple of streams, which is pretty wild. <laughs> it feels like it went by too quick. Uh, let's see. Tiger says for question of the day, uh, Red, Charon, um, the black and white team, not the leader team, Cynthia, and N. Oh, that's a that's a cool bunch of bunch of folks. Uh, I guess technically three champions plus Charon. Not bad. Not bad. Although Charon's arguably a champion because he did beat the Elite Four. Um, so yeah, I guess Charon's technically a champion too. Kind of weird that you don't really think about that, but he did actually. He says in black and white that he did beat the Elite Four to like get to you and N at the end of black and white. So he's technically a champion as well. <laughs> kind of fascinating. Uh, Bubble Star says, make sure you don't forget the Elite Four or EV train and have good items like you did with the Z moves. I know, I know Bulbasaur, I know. You'll never let me live that down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I um, I have been bracing myself for them, definitely. Anyways, ah, uh, you're not getting away with this Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But, ew, it's so cold here. Let's get back to Veilstone HQ. All right, well, uh, hi, Jupiter. Oh, I love how the camera has to, like, pan just so we can see her. <laughs> oh, don't I know you? We, were, we met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time on coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hi, Barry. Oh, he angry. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Uxie, it was suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's, it's not about winning and losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Hey there, Secret Boss Sauce. Welcome. Lovely to see you. I hope you're doing well today, my friend. All right. So there we go. Barry was fine. Just kind of deterred. Uh, let's see. What, what, what's my next objective? Head to Team Galactic's HQ. That's what it is. Yeah. So we're off to um, Veilstone then. Uh, that is the name of the game. We shall see what we can do in Veilstone. Uh, SPS says I had a job interview yesterday. Oh, that's awesome, SPS. Uh, what, what? I mean, if you don't, if you feel up to sharing, I would love to hear what kind of job. Um, we, we're, we're good on the. I don't say we didn't battle anything yet. We're good on the on the stats there. So, let's go, Tummy. Go for a stroll. Um, let's see. How does this work? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I think I remember. I think, don't we have to talk to the grunt out front here? I think that's what it is. And he'll drop the key. There, would you look at those antennae? I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antennae. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because you're the one that took Michael Ferry away. My partner calls it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about any storage key. Well, thanks. <laughs> How convenient. Oh, it's a homeless housing project. Dang, SBS, you're such a you're such a like good person. Like you're always doing things that are like beneficial to society. I admire that. Uh, that's awesome, SBS. Uh, congratulations. I hope you get it. I hope you get it. Does, it. does it seem like the interview went well? Hopefully it does. Uh, but, oh, so storage key. Yeah, we need to go. We need to go to the storage building now, and then we'll get the Galactics key from the storage building, so that we can actually go in the base proper. That's that's what it is. I've been through this before. All right, in we go. Yes, use the storage key, beautiful. Grab ourselves a dusk stone, very helpful. And then we move on from here. Uh, okay, so 
So, and yeah, that's the, uh, that's where we will come out after we have the Galactics key, if I recall correctly. Uh, SP says, I think it went well, and, uh, and I'm only a good person so I can destroy humanity later. Ooh, I, I get you, I get you. It, it, it checks out, it checks out. Um... Tiger says, knowing how things would work, I, uh, I have a feeling it would end up being In versus Cynthia in my roster if In had Zekrom. Yeah, that's a good. That's that would that would make sense. Cynthia is definitely one of the one of the stronger trainers. Like, a, like even like among champions, I would say that she's one of the. She she has a really balanced team. So, uh, yeah, I could I could see that. In also has a pretty balanced team, and uh, frankly, a lot of really really tanky mons. Plus, I mean, yeah, Zekrom or Reshiram um, are both you know strong. <laughs> They're both very strong. Legendary will do that. Um, I need to switch. Let's see. We'll go into... Uh, I think a hard switch into Travolta is fine. I think. Hopefully. Garchomp versus Zekrom. Yeah, that makes sense, Tiger. That makes sense. Uh, Mobile Star says, did you do Dialga and Palkia yet? No, not yet. Um, we have to, we have to infiltrate the galactic base first. Um, and then after that, that's where we head to Mount Coronet to go to Spear Pillar. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's a coming, but not quite. Okay, Golbat goes down easy, very nice. Alright, and Trafolta hits 47. Our levels are still pretty, pretty, uh, out there. I didn't do any grinding between streams, specifically, because our levels are already pretty on point. Like, by the time we get through the HQ, plus Mount Coronets, you know, there's a bunch of grunts we have to fight there. By the time we get through all of that, like, we should probably be good to take on Volkter, frankly. <laughs> so, we are good in that regard. Okay, so, yeah, let's grab ourselves a bottle of zinc, okay. And let's see, who do I want to lead with? Um, I, I think I still want to lead with Fasha. I think. Yeah, let's just go for it. Hopefully not another gold bat. Alright. Very good, very good. Oh, you... Okay, sorry, Bubble Star, I misunderstood. Like, have I gotten them into the Hall of Fame yet? Uh, we got Palkia into the Hall of Fame, um, but we have not gotten Dialga yet. We don't even have Dialga right now. Um, I was gonna say, we didn't get very far into Diamond. We didn't get Dialga in Platinum's post-game. Um, and yeah, so um, we just haven't had the opportunity to catch Dialga yet. But this time around, yeah, like we could be, we could catch the Dialga. That's, that's probably the game plan. So, yeah. I'm picking up what you're putting down now. <laughs> hey, we get the crit. Nice. We take those. Yeah, back uh, back when we played, uh, I forget which playthrough number it was, but it was uh, it was a little while ago. Uh, we we got we got we jobbed a Rork <laughs> in in the diamond playthrough. Uh, it was pretty embarrassing, I will say. Bronzor is coming out. We'll stay in. We'll flamethrower it. Hopefully it's not heat proof, but it might still die anyway, so fine. Hey, Bronzor goes right down. Very good. All right, let's see what we got next. Making our way downtown. Okay, we're all in our teleporty nonsense here. Let's go. I'm a lot more awake this morning than I have been in the last several streams, thankfully. Um, I, uh, I actually got up a couple hours before stream, which I don't know why I don't try and make that more regular. I really should, because I, I feel like I'm always in a lot better mood on stream whenever I whenever I do that, because I, I actually have time to wake up. <laughs> so it's, um, yeah, I need to do that more often. <laughs> I just got up and I was working on the new uh, the new layout. New layout's coming along really well, folks. I, I, for those of you, I don't know, maybe not everyone knows that I was making a new layout, but I'm making a new layout. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited about it. It's coming along very nicely. I'm almost done with it. Uh, Secret Boss says, "Lids, how do you feel about all the the DC adaptations being uh, being in jeopardy?" 
Um, so I don't know a whole lot about it, SBS. I haven't, um, I don't, I haven't really looked into a whole lot of the, uh, like, DCEU stuff, because I wasn't really, uh, keen on the direction they were going with the movies. And then, um, I, I really was never very well versed with the, um, like, the TV shows, but I heard about Batgirl, and that's super big lame. <laughs> that's super, super big lame, SBS. Um, I don't know the full scope of things. Um, but yeah, I heard that Batgirl got cancelled, and that is super bummy. <laughs> Especially since I heard it was, like, a good, like, not, not just, like, oh, it was, like, you know, they wrote Batgirl on a piece of paper, and, like, they hadn't done anything. Apparently, like, as, if, if I understand correctly, they were, like, like, at least, like, a good, like, percentage into, like, developing the show. <laughs> like, I don't know how much they'd filmed, but, like, like, they were a good ways in, and, and then they'd, like, canned it, which is... That's so lame. That's so lame. What a what a shame. What a shame that like people will never get to see that. It's tragic. Uh, what does this lead to? Uh, Tiger says Garchomp is faster than Zekrom. Uh, so that's actually really interesting. Well, I was gonna say Gar between Garchomp and Zekrom. Uh, if it's Zekrom specifically, like I don't know, actually even Reshiram, either one. Uh, if it, regardless of which which of the legendary dragons N, N would have in that scenario. Um, they both jobbed a Garchomp. <laughs> like, Garchomp, Garchomp is strong and has stab in both directions against it. So, like, um, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think between the two, I think that Cynthia would probably take the W on that one. That's just a theory, but, uh, yeah. I, I, think, I think that Cynthia would probably take the W for sure. It's a cool matchup, though, Tiger. Um, I, I love, yeah, I love pairing, like, un unsuspecting characters against one another. Uh, it's fun. It's it's a little harder with like abstract characters like um uh let's see I need to switch here real fast. Let's go to Um I guess I'll go to Travolta and hope hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy. Um It's hard to, it's hard to compare characters like the protagonist. With Red, of course, is an exception because he has like a finite team. But um I was gonna say like can be like oh yeah like Brendan versus Brendan versus uh <laughs> uh, well, I guess Brenda's is also weird, but like uh, here, let me. I'll, I'll pick like, uh, let's say Hilda versus I don't know uh, Gloria. Just like uh, that's a weird one. <laughs> also, that was way too much damage. Uh, I need a new plan here. I just noticed that a lot of my team is really weak to psychic. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Um, Tommy should be able to take a hit though. Uh, I think this will this will be okay. SBS says some rumblings make it sound like the Harley Quinn cartoon is done after this season. I didn't even know there was a Harley Quinn cartoon. SBS <laughs> Sh shows what I know. I've really I, even though I pride myself on being more of a DC fan than Marvel, I've actually not been paying attention to anything DC's been doing lately. Mostly because just because they kind of um, I don't know. I feel like they lost their way a little bit. <laughs> That's just my take. Oh hey Kelly, welcome Kelly Kelly. Lovely to see you. Uh, Kelly says, hey, Lids, just stopping by while out and about on our way to the passport office right now. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Getting that getting that, that passport. Uh, are you, like, planning, like, a trip or something, Kelly? If you feel like sharing, of course. <laughs> uh, Tiger says, Garchomp is uh, perfect IVs and EVs, though. Zekrom might get one hit off uh, and bring Garchomp. Well, are we assuming that, like, N is not EV and IV trained as well? Because I, I would say if it's so, I feel, it feels like an even match there. At least I would say. Oh, hey, Duke, welcome. Oh, man, so many cool people showing up. So many cool people showing up. Get him, Tummy. Okay, good damage. All right, Tummy, finish it off, please. Ooh, way to tank it, Tummy. We love you. We love you, Tummy. Uh, Callie says, OMG, the Harley cartoon is awesome. They made Harley and Ivy can- Oh, I, I think that's canon in the comics, isn't it? I think? I think? I don't know. I don't read the- I don't really read the comics, so, like, I don't really know a whole lot of details. I know that, at least in some properties, I think prior to the- this, uh, apparently, Harley- Harley cartoon, which, again, I didn't even know existed. <laughs> um, I think they were a thing, like, actually, like, in a relationship in the comics as well, but I- I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember the details. It's, it's just the sort of thing where it's just like I, I, I have heard through, you know, un, un, unsure means, I guess. 
Also, I don't know why I switched to, to Fasha. Oops. <laughs> uh, Texas, I don't think in is canonically. I, I mean, can, uh, EVs and IVs are kind of weird when it comes to the canon, Tiger. So it's it's very weird. It's very weird. Because, like, obviously, yeah, like, in the games, he's not EV trained. But, like, EVs and IVs are just sort of a game mechanic. They're not really, like, canon, per se. It's a weird, it's a weird argument, um, I guess is the point I'm making. <laughs> it's hard to, it's hard to say how much that actually factors. Uh, okay, but yeah, I need to probably switch back to Tummy. Oh, but we got the regenerator. I forgot about that. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Duke says, have you, have you, have you all seen the Pokemon Direct? Uh, yes, I have seen it. Um, I would love to discuss it, uh, if anyone wants to discuss it. Uh, but what I will say is that, like, I like to give a big, big disclaimer before I do anything that's, like, brand new like that. Because, like, you know, people might be trying to avoid spoilers. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and take the opportunity. Feel free to talk about the Scarlet and Violet trailer. But I'm going to be giving, like, constant disclaimers of, like, hey, spoilers, in case anyone's trying to avoid spoilers. So, uh, but yeah, uh, feel free to share your thoughts on it, Duke. I would love to hear what you have to say. Oh, you're taking the you're taking your kids to Disneyland, Callie. That's awesome. Oh, I hope you all have a good time. That is super cool. Super super cool. Uh, SP says, not gonna lie, if Peacemaker and Doom Patrol bite it, I'll lose it. Disney would never give us characters as flawed with such celebration of the LGBT plus. Oh geez. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I, I, I'm not really very familiar with what they got going on, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not even familiar with what's going on. I should look into that, though. I, D, I do love DC stuff. I, I can only rewatch the DC animated universe for the billionth time so many times, right? <laughs> but then again, I could just rewatch Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, and Justice League all in a row again. <laughs> Seems worth it. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the name pun is, the name, the name puns are on point with this generation, clearly. Uh, the, the Fido, Fido, <laughs> that's amazing. We love that. No, Tommy, you can't evolve, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's, it's pretty good stuff. Um, I, I, I rather like the direct. There was, there were some things I'm very uh, confused about that I really want clarification on, but we'll get there when we get there. Um. I'm waiting with uh, with uh, bated breath. Admittedly, uh, I'm not huge on the the new like crystally thingies. The what's it called? The Terra Terra stall Terra stallization. Not not huge on it. Not huge on it at all. Ooh, sludge bomb! Hell yeah! Ooh, I'm actually really tempted to throw that on the Venusaur. Um, but I I only really have uh, like a slot for one move there. So, uh, oh man, Venusaur would be really good though. Uh, for for with with sludge bomb, be good coverage, but then I don't have a grass move because I I'm running I'm running the toxic set on her, on him so I don't want to get rid of leech seed and toxic. <laughs> I suppose I could drop seeds, but then but then the toxic is a problem because not everything can get toxic. But if I stick to just seeds, then it means that grass types are also immune. So it's like oh, it's a tricky it's tricky business, it's tricky tricky business. <laughs> Uh, SPS is silence lids just consume Poke product. I know, right? Yeah, God forbid anyone has any opinions on a, on a Pokemon game. <laughs> uh, that's very good stuff. Uh, Duke says, I have so many ideas. Uh, this game has a lot of options uh, for so many Pokemon players, both experienced and new players, and the Nuzlocke options are endless. I'm going to be very curious to see how well Nuzlocke will work with it, because I know a lot of people struggle, Duke, with like how like how can you Nuzlocke like Legends Arceus, for example, because it like it, it's just such a different experience. I, I have myself figured out like a good rule set for Legends Arceus that I'm probably going to be using once we actually play it on stream. Um... But, uh, yeah, it's, it's tricky. And, like, with how open world this, like, new game is going to be, I'm going to be curious to see how well the Nuzlocke formula, like, adapts to the, you know, the big changes. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll be really, I'll be really interested for sure. Uh, SP says, I will say I'm liking the, the, the new Narwhal Pokemon. It's, I think it's, I think it's supposed to be a whale. But, like, yeah, no, it's a land whale. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. What's it called? It's, like, Satitan, I think. Satitan. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice. I like it. Um, I will say that the Pokemon they showed, I liked the Paldean Wooper. 
Um, but uh, uh, of the three they showed, admittedly a little underwhelming. Uh, we, so far, I've noticed that this generation, they haven't really showed off a whole lot of Pokemon that are, like, cool. You know what I mean? Like, there's been a lot of cute ones that I really... I mean, I love LeChonk. I love LeChonk so much. But um, not a whole lot of, like, traditionally cool Pokemon. Um, I hope that they show something inter I mean, I guess the legendaries are pretty cool, but, like, aside from those... Uh, SV says, Lids, Narwhals, Arwhale. I mean, I know that, but, like, it's not a Narwhal. It doesn't, does it have a horn? I don't think it has a horn, does it? I guess maybe it does. I'd have to look at it again. But, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's a Land Whale, though. <laughs> I like Land Whale. That's a funny idea. It's like a parallel to Garchomp, Land Shark. Very interesting. Put pedals out front. It's your turn, my friend. Uh, I don't want to double battle, so let's fight you now. Uh, Duke says I love Fire Toad. Oh, you mean uh, Flay Coco? Flay Coco is really cute. Yeah, I, I like Flay Coco. I, I am I am still very torn on if I want to go with Flay Coco or Sprigatito, um, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I will definitely figure it out. Um, I don't know. Maybe the evolutions will will be the ones that that will coax me one way or the other. We'll see. Um, I do know that that Quaxley's probably out though. Probably not gonna do the Quaxley. <laughs> no offense to the Quaxley fans out there, but uh, yeah, not not into the duck. <laughs> oh geez, hopefully that doesn't mean anything, Tiger. Duke Sailor thinks the Titan is based on Greek uh, mythological monster. I forget its name. Uh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about mythology, so what can I say? I mean, I know a little bit, but not very much. Certainly not anything about a land whale. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, still pretty cool. I love the... I will say I really like the the human trainer, or, like, human characters that they showed off in the uh, in the, the presentation as well. A lot of really interesting designs. Uh, that's always one... I, I mentioned before, that's one of my favorite parts of, um, of uh, any, any like, new Pokemon game is, like, seeing, like, what are, like, what, what are the human characters going to look like? You know, gym leaders, rivals, etc. Um, and, yeah, good, good batch this time, I will say. I do think it's really funny... <laughs> I actually, I wouldn't even be surprised if there's some of you in the chat right now who don't, don't know that that ice gym leader they showed off, uh, Grusha, uh, it's a guy. <laughs> it is a guy. Uh, it's, it's really funny. I saw, like, a lot of people on Twitter reacting to that, like, oh, she's so pretty, and I'm just like, teehee, you don't know that it's a dude. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Kelly says, uh, female narwhals don't have horns. Brought to you by your, uh, by our own town zoo. Re really? I didn't know that, Kelly. That's amazing. Uh, really? Wow. I mean, I don't know if the Titan, uh, is only female or not. I guess we'll have to wait and find out, but I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Huh. I never do. It, it, I mean, it's just it's just really funny to see people's reactions, to be honest. I think it's really, um, <laughs> like, because, yeah, like, there's a lot of people who are just like, oh, what? How, how could they do this to me? How could they trick me? But then other people are just like, that just makes it better, frankly. <laughs> just like, oh, it's a guy? That's even better. <laughs> we love this. We love this. Yeah, no, he's super cute. I will say, like, I love his eyeliner. <laughs> this is very pretty looking. Um, and then, yeah, like, the other characters are really cute, too. Like, I like Penny a lot. I liked, um, uh, the, the, the headmaster or whatever was, like, cool enough. Um, uh, <laughs> the, the, what's his name? The Jacques, the professor guy? Not the professor, but, like, the, uh, the teacher guy, I guess I should say. Um, he was, he was kind of cool. Um, yeah, no, just a lot of interesting stuff for sure. Um, I rather liked it. Um, there was a couple of duds. I didn't really like, what's his name, Arvin? He was kind of boring, but whatever. <laughs> Not everyone's going to be a W for me, so what you going to do? Get him with Psychic Bonk. But yeah, if you haven't seen the um, the the, Scar the new Scarlet and Violet trailer, do highly recommend it. It's, it's definitely worth a watch. It was interesting. Uh, Silcoon's coming out. Let's go into... That's a job for Fasha. That's definitely a job for Fasha. So SPS says, oh, by the way, they fixed the max raids. Thank God. Uh, I'm still kind of skeptical, SPS. I, I, they, they definitely look like they're probably going to wind up being better than normal max raid, like the Sword and Shield max raids. But I will say that the, um, 
just the idea of doing raids again feels kind of gross. <laughs> I will say, like, especially with how like very clearly similar they are to the Sword and Shield ones, it kind of gave it kind kind of giving me bad vibes to be honest. Like, just like really, we're doing this like basically exactly the same as before. Like they like the part where they were like, oh yeah, there's like beacons or whatever that you'll be able to see them from a distance. I was like, really? You guys are. Like, I, I, I'm surprised at how blatant they were willing to go with that. Like, they were just like, oh, yeah, it, this is this is how it works. And it's just like, like, literally everyone in the room, like, so it's literally just Sword and Shield, like, again, though. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Pokemon's no stranger to, like, you know, doing the exact same things again. But, like, I don't know. It felt pretty brazen on this on this particular instance. Um, I don't know. It's, it's interesting, to say the least. <laughs> SBS says, Liz, they're keeping a mechanic. You know how rare... I mean, it is rare, I, I suppose. It, like, it, it's kind of similar to, like, how they kept berries in, in Gen 4 compared to Gen 3. So I guess, yeah, in that regard, it's like... I guess it shouldn't be that surprising. But I guess it's just the fact that it is, like, literally... Like, like, like there's hardly a difference. Like, it's literally just like, oh, yeah, there's little, like, rock formations in the ground that shoot out a beam of light. And you go to it, and the little UI for it is, like, exactly the same as in Sword and Shield. I don't know. It's... It's interesting. I don't... The other thing, too, is I don't, like... At least in my experience... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe some folks enjoy it. Uh, max raids were not particularly popular. Were they? I mean, like, people played them because, like, that's how you got some good Pokemon. But, like, I didn't, I didn't remember hearing anyone, like, even back when Sword and Shield was new, being all like, yeah, like, uh, the, the max raids are so fun. I love them. Like, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Very interesting. I don't really know what to uh, what more to say about it, but it's I don't know it's fascinating. I don't know why I switched out to uh, to this Pokemon, but we're doing it. <laughs> As because I mean I I still see people doing it, so it must have have its fans. I think it's I think it's less so that they enjoy doing it, and and more so that it's like I want to get good stuff, which is like I mean that's how they they just jammed a bunch of useful shit behind Max Raids. It's like I get it. Um, I will say I am, it, it does very much look like these new raids in, um, Scarlet Violet, uh, have, like, it seems like they're gonna be faster paced, which is huge, because that's, like, the biggest issue with max raids right now, is they're so slow. <laughs> they are so stinking slow, and it's, like, it's to the point of being obnoxious, frankly. Um, so... Getting that fixed up is nice. Um, I, I will say, it, it very much seems like you just kind of get in there, knock out the Pokemon, get your stuff, and get out. Um, I appreciate that because, like, what, uh, like, it's cool. Like the first time that you uh, that you do a max rage, just like, oh, you know, the camera pans over and you got the big giant Pokemon. Wow, this is so novel. But the the fiftieth time you've seen that, you're just like, oh my god, can I just like skip the cutscene, please? <laughs> it's so obnoxious. Oh, hey, Dapper Kirby. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Dapper Kirby says, Oh, Tummy still leading the team in levels. We love to see it. I know. Yeah, Tummy's good. Tummy's so good. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Dapper Kirby. Uh, we are uh, just a quick uh, little reminder to everyone. Uh, we are discussing Scarlet and Violet spoilers. So if you're trying to avoid um, anything about the games before they come out, uh, you might want to bow out just because, yeah, we're, we are we are discussing it. So just, you know, that that issuing that warning, you know, periodically. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, Petals still out front. Please give me something Petals can fight. I don't like Petals just not being able to hit things because it only knows a grass move. <laughs> and then again, it's Team Galactic, and they mostly specialize in poison, so yeah, unlikely. <laughs> I wonder how much... Uh, like, it's resisted, obviously, but I wonder how much uh, damage we'd actually do to Krogunk here. Let's find out. Why not? Maybe I don't need to waste time switching. Maybe I can just go for a couple of Giga Drains and call it a day. Maybe. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we one-shot. Nice. I guess we're pretty high level, so that works out. Cool, that works. Easy peasy. Okay. Level 46. Beautiful. Uh, next up is Glammeow. We'll swap out to Fasha. Very good, very good. Come out, monkey. Destroy this kitten. Give 
with the mock punch. Very nice. But yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm I'm ca I'm still cautiously optimistic after this new trailer though for Scarlet and Violet. Um, there's a lot that really the one thing that I'm like hoping for the most. Um, what I what I really really want to see. Uh, I want the level. I want level scaling. I really really want level scaling. Um, it seems like based on some of the verbiage in, on like the website, it seems like there might not be level scaling, which would be big lame. Um, but I don't know. That I'm still kind of holding out hope that is a thing. Um, that like Pokemon and like trainers and stuff, like their levels will scale depending on like how many gym badges you have. Uh, that's what I want the most. That's what I want the most. Um, I can live without it, but that would be like the thing that like really like makes it or breaks it as far as like, oh, this is gonna be like an awesome game to look forward to versus like, oh yeah, I'll get it. But like, yeah, I'm not that excited for it. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. Cautious optimism. Let me heal up real fast since we're still right here next to these beds, which I, I do love. I do love that they, they seem to always throw beds in like evil team uh, headquarters. It's just like, oh yeah, imagine just like infiltrating a criminal syndicate building and then just taking a nap there real quick and then getting up to finish, t you know, infiltrating. It's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, oh god, they always they always do this to me. Which one is the right one? Not that one. Is there an item, though? I bet you there is. No? No item here? Alright. You're the boss. Uh, how about this one? Oh no, that's super tragic, SPS. No, oh, that's tragic. Aw, oh, big lame. Not a fan of that at all. Sad. Okay, elixir. Well, that's that's actually kind of helpful, so that works out. And then, oh goodness, excuse me. Um, all right, we're off to this one. This must be the way. Wow, yeah, no, he got up there at least. That's nice, uh, SPS. That's nice, but uh, yeah, no, that, that, that's that's uh, sad to hear about his his uh, his passing. That's super super big lame. Uh, okay, are we ready for? I guess yeah, we have to take on um, uh, Cyrus. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Dapper Kirby's got me on the water redemption. Thank you, Dapper Kirby. I actually have a bit of a scratchy throat today, so the water is good. Ah, very good. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, uh. I'm gonna pull up Cyrus's page real fast. I think we'll be okay, but like, I don't think it would uh, be too much of a detriment for me to look up his his uh, his set. Okay, he leads with the Honchkar. That's what I thought. Um, I, in that case, I will lead with um, I will lead with Travolta. I think that'll be good. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take him on. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expect to see the trainer as a mere child, I'd heard that our commander had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Uxie, Mess Spirit, and Azelf, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You were compelled to come here by such a va vac vacuous sentimentality. I could say words. <laughs> I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Let's go, Cyrus. He's so angsty. Cheer up, Buttercup. Here we go, Murkrow. Oh, he doesn't even have. Um, oh, I must have been looking at the, at the wrong, uh, the wrong pay. I was probably looking at his Spear Pillar, um, his Spear Pillar uh, team. <laughs> Luckily, it's still the type advantage lead, but so that works out. But yeah. <laughs> oh well. Murkrow goes down even easier. Very nice. All right, Basha hits 47. Uh, Golbat is next. We stay in. We will we will smack Golbat with a Thunderbolt as well. Oh, 
point. You know what I should do? I should actually get my stream editor open on my phone. I always forget to do that for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, here we go. Come on. Oh my goodness, my phone is being so stupid. No, you poisoned me! Rude, Cyrus! Did I miss? Oh no, it just didn't kill. Dang. Um, okay, hold up. <laughs> we gotta we gotta regroup here a little bit. Uh, let's go out to Tummy. <laughs> SPS is for Crow going down faster than Lids on her second mojito. Oh, have you had a mojito? It's they're actually really good. They're actually really, really good. I rather like them. I haven't had one in a while, but I, uh, when I have had them, they're pretty good. I'm not really an alcohol person, though, to be honest. <laughs> I like um, I like certain alcohols uh, in moderation, but I, I, I'm, I'm far from a snob when it comes to booze, because, like, um, I, I'm pretty satisfied even by just, like, literally, like, a fruit, like, a fruity, like, alcoholic, like, wine out of a can from, like, a convenience store. I'm just like, ooh, this is pretty good. <laughs> I'm not, I am not an alcohol snob by any means. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> fun times, fun times. Uh, Sneasel. Uh, let's go out to, who wants to fight a Sneasel? I think Fasha wants to fight a Sneasel. My last Pokemon. I see. Uh, just out of curiosity, uh, you, like I feel like a lot of uh, human trainers have what's generally considered to be their like ace, right? What would you say that Cyrus's ace is? Would you say it's like Weavile or like Honchkrow? I feel like I, I, a lot of people associate it with Honchkrow, myself included, or like even like Crobat. But I don't know. Is Weavile supposed to be his like ace? Is that the is that the intent there? I'm not really sure. Because it's, it's his strongest Pokemon in Platinum, notably, his Weavile, not not his Honchkrow. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. SBS says, I had a mint mojito, and it was refreshing. I want to spend time uh, testing out fruit drinks in my free time next summer. That's awesome, SBS. Yeah, um, I was going to say, I, I love fruit. Like, if I'm going to have alcohol, which, to be fair, is actually quite rare. I don't really, like I said, I don't really drink a whole lot. Um, but when I have it, yeah, I, fruity stuff is, like, the best way to go. <laughs> SBS says Honchkrow. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. It's like, I feel like a lot of people really associate it with Honchkrow. Um, the Africa says Weavile's his ace. It's his highest level Mon. Yeah, no, like, that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, like, Weavile does seem like it is actually his ace, but, like, I don't see a whole lot of people, like, consider Weavile to be his ace. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting. And Africa is actually a big brain answer. It's Gyarados. I mean, he does use Gyarados in, uh, in Platinum, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's It's interesting. All right, well, thank you, Cyrus. And yeah, we get the Master Ball. Very good. Um, as far as what I use the Master Ball on, uh, I think I'm probably just going to chuck it at Dialga. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, BDSP replicates the um, the original catch rate for Dialga as opposed to giving it, like, the modern, like, oh, yeah, the box mascot legendary Pokemon just stays in the ball easy. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think it, yeah, I think it's its original catch rate, which means it's going to be a pain in the butt to catch. So I might just chuck the Master Ball at Dialga and call it a day. Um, there is some Cinna legendaries we could theoretically save it for, but I'm probably just going to save a lot of those legendaries, honestly, uh, and just ignore them in this playthrough, and then we can come back and pick them up in, uh, like, Legends Arceus or, you know, Platinum or wh whatever else we wind up playing. Um, I think that's the way to go, personally. Okay. Let's... Oh, that's right. we got to fight uh, Saturn. Um, also, uh, fun fact. Um, actually, real fast. Maybe I should go heal um, so I don't waste the waste the medicine. Uh, fun fact. I have a really bad habit. Even though I know his name is Saturn, for some reason, I always want to call that character, the, like, you know, the, the galactic commander with the blue hair, I always want to call him Venus. And I have absolutely no idea why. <laughs> it's very weird. Because, yeah, like... I, like, uh, I'll make, like, a mistake. I'll just, like, write them all out. It would be like, oh, yeah, it's Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. It's just like, no, it's not Venus. It's definitely Saturn. <laughs> um, yeah, can't even place why. Like, there's li like there's no connection. Like, it's not, like, even, like, a Sailor Moon thing or nothing. No, I just don't. For some reason, I always want to call him Venus. I don't know why. He looks like a Venus to me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's bizarre. But yeah, there we go. All healed up. 
Now we're good to go. Oh, hey, Star Champ. Welcome. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. How are you doing today, my friend? Okay. Now we can now we can go and deal with uh, Saturn. I know Kirby says, do you associate Venus with the color blue? No, not not even. No, like I would honestly, if I had to pick, it would probably be yellow, um, just because uh, uh, Sailor Venus from Sailor Moon. So yeah, I don't. Um, I have no idea why. I just for some reason I look at them. I'm just like, oh yeah, it's Venus. It's not. It's Saturn. It's definitely Saturn. <laughs> I don't really have an explanation for it, to be honest. <laughs> hey there, Venus. I mean, Saturn. <laughs> you, you came all this way just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let some kid like you come and go freely? Ooh, sleepy Jean. Ooh, sleepy, sleepy Star Champ. See, for once, I'm actually not sleepy today, if you can believe it, Star Champ. I got up at a reasonable hour this morning, got some stuff done, and then I streamed. It's very nice. I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> what color do I associate with Saturn? Ah, uh, I. Good question. I, I guess I don't really associate any color with Saturn. Um, I assume there's a Sailor Saturn, right? I'm not a Sailor Moon fan, so I don't really know a whole lot of them. I know, like, the ones that I know. What does Sailor Saturn look like? <laughs> um, I The only the only Sailor Moon characters I know are Sailor Moon, Chibiusa. I think that's how you say it. Uh, Sailor Venus, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mars, and um, Sailor Pluto. Those are the ones that I know. <laughs> but I don't know what Sailor... I pre Again, I presume there's one for every planet, so I don't know what Sailor Saturn looks like. Uh, okay, Kadabra, uh, let's give you a bite. Bonk. Easy. Oh, yeah, and, and Tuxedo Mask. Yeah, sorry, Dapper Kirby. I also know Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> I was just thinking of the Sailors. SPS is uh, probably silver because uh, because of the Sega... Oh, yeah, because the Sega Saturn. That makes sense. That makes sense. I didn't, that, I didn't even go that direction with it. It's kind of funny, even though that's very, yeah, clearly named after the planet. I didn't even make, like, the connection that, that is, like, yeah, like, the intention. Wow. <laughs> I just think, oh, Sega Saturn. Doesn't even occur to me that that's based on the planet. Nice. <laughs> um, let's go out to Fasha. Okay, Bronzor. Hopefully we can just smack it with a flamethrower and call it a day. Goes right down. Very good. All right, Travolta hits 49. Toxic Croaks is next. Um, let's go with Tummy. Uh, Saturn says, "Drop a picture of Saturn in the Discord. I, uh, Discord. I like her weapon. Oh yeah, let me look. Let me look. Let's take a look. What does Sailor Saturn look like?" Oh, oh, she's cute. I like her. I've definitely never seen her before, so yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't recognize her at all. Crazy. I would have assumed that it would have been like that kind of scenario where it's just like, oh, that's who that is. But like, no, I've literally never even seen her before. Wild. <laughs> yeah, Sailor Saturn. Interesting. Definitely not what I, what I, what is, uh, definitely not what I was expecting. But yeah, fascinating. Now, now show me a picture of Saturn from Pokemon in that outfit. That would be the that would be the <laughs> that would be the winning play right there. That's what we want. <laughs> you just toxic me, you rude boy. Very good, very good. Easy peasy. Dapper Kirby says, "Ooh, Lids, you're actually you're about to face the actual hardest part of the game, the Mount Coronet Ledge of Finicky Programming." I know. Yeah, I'm I'm actually excited to show it off, Dapper Kirby, because like, yeah, it's it's. I feel like it's worth pointing out like how garbage that is. <laughs> no, Travolta, you can't evolve. Gah, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on the machine to set them free. 
All right, we'll do just that. <laughs> why do you even give me an option? <laughs> so silly. Why do they do that? I've never understood why Pokemon has this tendency to do that. It's absurd. Oh, geez. What's going on, SBS? Our boss crafted a red chain, red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what's needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Ooh, thank you for the water there, Star Champ. Ah, delicious hydration. Can y'all hear my water bottle whenever I swig it like that? I'm curious. You should let me know. <laughs> Uh, Dev Kirby says, and yet with all these issues, BDSP is uh, could still be considered the best Switch Pokemon game to play. I mean, aside from Sword and Shield, it is the highest grossing, um, which is fascinating. <laughs> uh, SP says, Batwoman got canceled, but they have a new Scooby-Doo movie almost done, and that too got canceled. Uh, I, I heard about Scooby-Doo. I did not hear about Batwoman. Man, what is going on? What is going on with DC right now? Crazy. Ah, uh, that's tragic. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I, I, had, I had heard about Scooby-Doo. I saw like a post on, on Twitter uh, yesterday about that. Um, I, I, I didn't see the first Scooby-Doo movie, so I didn't really know anything about it. But yeah, uh, sad to hear that it got canceled. A uh, big, big bummer for uh, like the artists involved, I'm sure. <laughs> SB says, yeah, we can hear the sound of, <laughs> we can hear the wet sound of you chugging. I don't like it. Why, why you gotta phrase it like that? <laughs> why you gotta phrase it like that, SBS? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, Casper. Welcome. Oh, it's lovely to see you. I hope you are doing well today, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we're done. Uh, can I just, like, escape rope here? I always forget how to get out of this place. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so we're off to Mount Coronet now. That is the name of the game. Oh, will there be escape rope? Grr. All right. Well, I'll just have to walk out normally. Sorry, just says the moist sound of you slurping. Ugh. Why? Don't say it like that either. No, that makes me uh gross. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who like hears the word moist and like cringes, but like I still don't. I don't know. I don't like the phrasing there. You. <laughs> SB says the mic is too good. We can actually hear it going down. Okay, yeah. No, no. This, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm done with this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree, Dapper Kirby, exactly. No, nope, we're done. We're done. No more no more talk of me drinking water. <laughs> no more talk. Everything everything is wrong. <laughs> Casper says, what did I walk into? Yeah, I don't I promise it's 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 purely wholesome, but it's pure it's it's just purely just like cool, nice people wanting me to drink water and then saying weird things. <laughs> okay, so we're off to Mount Coronet. Let's uh let's see. Which uh which interest is, it's the it's a it's the heart heart home entrance, right? That's been a little while. Let's put pedals out front. Uh, this all looks right. Yeah, God, these uh <laughs> these ones are getting so strong. Um, but yeah, let's go. SP says continue to make it uh continue it. Make her feel weird about basic human act. I know that is that is the way to do things. Absolutely the way to do things. Casper says now lids will never hydrate on stream again. It's I mean. If I have to, if I have to take it away, if you, if y'all are gonna say weird things, then I might have to take it away. <laughs> Dapper Kirby redeems drink water. Okay, you can hear me slurp some more, I guess. Gross. <laughs> I try to do it as quietly as possible. Quietly as possible. I don't know if you heard it, but I tried. All right, let's go. Um, we need to go to the the heart home side. Off to here. Yes, I think. I think that's the one. <laughs> Dapper Kirby says she will by force. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, how are we doing actually on medication? I need to see if we need more medicine. Um, three super potions, one moo moo milk, 21 hyper po Okay, so we're probably good then. I wonder if we get full restores yet. Ooh, we should get ultra balls too. Um, I was thinking about doing some Grand Underground stuff today, possibly, depending on how much time we have. Um, so that's not a terrible idea. Let's see. We could, yeah, get a good amount of those. I think that'll be good. We, I guess we could also try and, and catch Dialga naturally, but I'm scared of it. Dialga's hard. 
Uh, it's strong and and good, and and I could I don't know I don't want to lose any Pokemon to it. That's for certain. I might just Master Ball Dialga. Dialga's too good. The timing is insane. Uh, SBS says uh, someone needs to take uh, you can hear me slurp again and make it into a file we can spam. Oh god, no! Like a sound clip? Absolutely not. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That that could be used in a lot of unfortunate contexts. No, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I don't think... Did we fight you? Okay, I guess we did. Did we fight you? Actually. Okay, no, I didn't fight this guy. I guess I'm gonna fight him real quick. I was gonna say, we can go... We have rock climb now. Uh, I think there's a TM on this route, I think. Uh, I kinda wanna go grab it real fast. If I can. SPS says, give me the power. No! <laughs> I'm taking away all your rights, SPS. No, you get nothing. <laughs> you get nothing except sadness. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, Giga Drain. Yeah, level 17 Geo, dude. You about to get bonked, my friend. Sorry, Charlie. Uh, Geo, dude. Another one. <laughs> Africa Reese's Lids take away, right? That's just a safe space. It is a safe space, except except for when SBS says weird things. Then it's not, but only for SBS. Everyone else is wholesome and nice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, SBS. Don't take it personally. <laughs> it's it's all in all in jest, I, I assure you. Okay, Hiker Robert goes down. Not too shabby. Okay, I want to avoid this guy if I can. But I definitely didn't. If I didn't fight that guy, I didn't fight this guy for for sure. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. X speed. Oh jeez, it looks like there's a guy that we'll have to fight if we go up this way. Um. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Just stay out front there, pedals. <laughs> oh my goodness, that for Kirby. Don't even. <laughs> Don't even say that. That's that ain't cool. That's not cool. Uh, SBS says, I know, I know, nobody here is wholesome. I, I'm, uh, I resent that, SBS. I'm incredibly wholesome. I, I only ever say wholesome things. I'm perfectly, uh, wholesome and, and, and jovial all the time. I never say anything in my chat or otherwise, um, that is in any way to be misconstrued as something, anything other than wholesome. Uh, change my mind. <laughs> Uh, Sergeant says for question of the day, uh, Crasher Wake, Alistair, Mast Royal, and Bryson. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting ones. Interesting ones. Or, th or another option, Olympia, Cynthia, Janine, and Fantina. Ooh. That's an interesting, uh, interesting bunch of characters. Any particular reasoning behind any of the pairings, or just, like, kind of characters you like, uh, Sarchamp? Uh, SBS says, Liz, you live in fear of social interaction and sunlight. I mean, tell me what else is new, SBS. <laughs> uh, uh, Dabber Kirby says, Liz is, is wholesome as long as you don't bring up Corrin. Oh my god, don't even talk about Corrin, Dabber Kirby. You have no right. Corrin is, Corrin is bae. Corrin is bae. That's Corrin from Fire Emblem, not like Corrin the cat. <laughs> Corrin from Fire Emblem is bae. All right, let's go out to Polyrath. Uh, Sarge says agreed, SBS, because Yubi's not here. Aw, oh, I hope Yubi's doing well today. <laughs> I hope she's doing well today. Traveler! <laughs> I don't, I mean, I wouldn't, I actually don't even think I have, like, narcolepsy or anything like that. Uh, or, like, insomnia. Any, no, no, nothing to that effect, I don't think. I'm just, I'm just bad at decision making. <laughs> Uh, Sarge says, the first is all mask. Oh, I guess they are. I didn't even make that connection, to be honest. That's awesome. Uh, the second's just cool women that I think would make for a fun match. Oh, yeah, yeah fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, that, I, that's actually really cute. Yeah, all the masked characters fighting each other. That's fun. That's really fun. Is there any other masked characters? Will, I guess? Will would be another one. Is there any other ones? I can't think of any more. <laughs> can, can we get two battle royals where they're still all masked. If we can get Will, if we get three more, we can, we can make another battle royal with masked characters. That'd be interesting. Okay, Onyx. Um, let's go back on the pedals.
All right, we give him the Giga Drain. Onyx. Ooh, we got the sturdy, though. The sturdy Onyx. So with the manga, I wouldn't count the manga. No, I would I would say that just the in-game universe would be the way to go with it, Star Champ, for sure. Um, I was going to say, yeah, uh, there'd be Will. I I guess you could count the Team Flare scientists, but I feel like that's kind of a, a weird gray area. They are kind of masks. They're, they're more like visors, though, I suppose. Uh, and, and in any case, they're boring anyway, so forget them. <laughs> Um, hmm. Hmm. There's got to be other ones, right? I feel like there. I feel like there is. I feel like there's like a really obvious one that's just not coming to mind for me right now. Starch says, uh, "Girl Pink Corin made in Smash here. Very nice, Star Champ. I prefer. I prefer the um, uh, Player Two Corin. So it's basically just like the default." colors but 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 the girl color or the the girl skin that's what i play in smash no tummy you can't evolve <laughs> daffer kirby says only on a mask her psycho her her psycho side does that count <laughs> i wouldn't say so no <laughs> uh, 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 don't touch me okay we're good <laughs> Uh, Casper says, yeah, how are we defining that? Yeah, I don't, I, I guess it's kind of weird. Like, I guess to compare, compare it to, like, the ones that Starchamp said in their initial, in their initial answer, which was, hold on, Crasher Wake, Alistair, Mast Royal, and Bryson, they all have masks. Yes. So, like, I guess something similar to those would be how we're defining it in this case. Oh, that's right. Um, also, I get to show off the, this this stupid ledge uh, in this game. I wonder if it'd be really cool if I pulled it off on the first try. I probably won't, though, because I, I didn't when I tried before. Um, this ledge, although it is authentic to the original um, the original game, like, layout-wise, um, it's incredibly asinine to actually try and get up this ledge real fast. Because of uh, the game, the way it's coded, it's really bad. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Wow, the cluff is kind of rare. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, actually, we got, oh, dang, we did get a Mount Coronet encounter, didn't we? I was gonna say, I don't think we have Cleffa, so this would have been cool, but that's okay. Not this time. Uh, Casper says, would we count that post-game Looker story character? In oh, yeah, um, what's the, what the heck's her name? Um, I wanna say Emma? Is that her name? Emma? Does that sound right? I think that's what it is. Yeah, I would count her. I would totally count her. She's got the she's got the the mask helmet going on. Yeah, totally. Okay, yeah. So I have to be really really careful here. But yeah, you see how this is like basically one tile, and then you have like that little ledge. Unless you like, oh yeah, oh I actually did it, yo. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's um really easy to accidentally step over off of the ledge right here. Um, I don't know how I just pulled that off on the first try because I I, I had to go like up this ledge like three times <laughs> um, to, to pull it off. But take my word for it when I say that like sometimes you have to like literally hug the wall just to like get over here without falling off. So that's really funny. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, that, 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 that's actually really funny that I pulled it off on the first try. <laughs> Um, SBS has a deep question of the day suggestion suggests what two unrelated Pokemon would you expect to share a symbiotic relationship? Ooh, that's a cool one, SBS. I love that. Uh, let me get that recorded real fast so that I can, um, make that a future question of the day. Thank you so much, SBS. There we go. All recorded. And we'll carry on. Uh, Dabcrim says, now I'm imagining Slowpoke as the masked tummy. Aw, masked tummy. With an eye bandana like a ninja turtle and a cape that goes halfway down his back. Oh, I want to see that so badly. I want to see that so badly, Dr. Kirby. A little superhero tummy. A little superhero slowpoke. Aw, that sounds so cute. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's go. Dr. Kirby says, uh, Lid's using up all this playthrough's luck to pull off the ledge the first time. I know, yeah, it's it's, it's only downhill from here. No pun intended. <laughs> Wild Bronzong. So yeah, uh, so yeah, we have. Um, I, I think her name is Emma. So it'd be Emma and Will so far for our, our second Master Royal. Uh, Master Royal. I mean, <laughs> kinda. <laughs> it's funny that I said Master Royal, not like the character, but like the battle royale of masked characters. Um, yeah. So we need two more, two more if we can think of them. 
That's uh, that's that's the chat's homework right now, and the homework is due now. <laughs> Escape robe, okay. Uh, Sergeant says there's two superheroes in, in Pokemon, the Gligar one and the Blaziken one. I wouldn't count them. I, I'm thinking just uh, Pokemon, like, uh, uh, the, the game canon. So no anime. No anime, no manga. Just just the in-game canon. I am, uh, I am making that call. It is my preferred Pokemon canon, after all. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, uh, we could count the Pop Rocks or the Black 2 and White 2 Pro Tags, uh, the map. Oh, Riolu Girl! Yo, I want to count Riolu Girl. Um, I, so I guess Rosa, then, would be the answer. We could also do Nate, but screw Nate. <laughs> we all hate Nate in this chat, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I choose to, I choose to include, um, uh, mass, uh, Riolu Girl. Riolu Girl counts. <laughs> Uh, also, this is not where we're trying to go. Oh, Cena and Dexio is good too, Casper. I didn't think of them. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Well, I mean, that's more than enough, so we're good now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they're they're like in, in the game canon, they're superheroes. So yeah, that works for you. SBS says, what did Nate do to me? Don't even talk to me about Nate, SBS. Nate is a freaking loser. <laughs> I'm not I'm not in Cosmic Casper's chat right now, but just rest assured, Casper, if I was in your chat, I would shove Nate in a locker right now. I can't assure you that. <laughs> Nate's a freaking loser. Don't change you cannot change my mind on that either. He's a freaking dork. Ooh, Ether. Nice. Uh Devil Kirby says the good side of the Scarlet Violet characters is no matter how meth they look, they'll always be better designed than Nate. I mean, I can't agree. I can't agree, Devil Kirby. God. Look at those. It, like, ah, uh, like his shorts. Like, are you kidding me with Nate's shorts and like the the shorts and spandex combo? Like, bro, what are you? <laughs> Who let you dress this way? Are you are you kidding me? And the hair and the stupid visor. Oh god. Okay, I sound really mean right now. <laughs> it's all in jest, I assure you. But I don't know. Like he just he just I do not I am not huge on his design, what can I say? <laughs> let it let it be shown that I'm 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 joking, but but also but but also for real though. <laughs> He, I don't. I don't care for Nate. He's a. He's a. He's a bit of a dork. Uh, Sarah says, "Huh? Apparently, Y two is known as uh, Whiteley in the official English manga. I mean, that makes a lot of sense considering that. Yeah, like I heard that. Yeah, it was like Blue two and Y two. Like, ah, uh, that's a little. That's a little rough. I will say." <laughs> SPS says Nate tried to get Lydia's digits. I, I mean, I won't go that far, but I will say that, like, if he tried, uh, it would be a no-go from me. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Fight me. Uh, Dapper says Lids would never give up her, uh, give up her fingers to toes. Oh my goodness gracious, Dapper Kirby. <laughs> Alright, beauty fly! Uh, I was gonna say, four times resisting the, the, the grass move is probably a switch, probably, in this case. Can I say probably a couple more times? Probably. <laughs> uh, Sergeant says, uh, codename is Lactu, because he was, uh, adopted by the police force, so he had no name prior. I see. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, uh, Nate lore. Um, it is interesting that, um, a lot of people, I think, either forget about it or are just completely unaware. Um, uh, although, like, the player characters in Black 2 and White 2 seem like they're just kind of, you know, if one exists, the other doesn't, they actually do um, in-universe. Uh, if you play as Hilda, uh, Hilbert it does exist. He's, he is a character. He's in the, um, he's in the battle subway, um, which is, I don't know, I, I find that kind of interesting. It's just like, oh, yeah, he's... He's technically like not—he's not a rival, obviously, because you never hardly see him. But like, he is like a character you can fight as Hilda, and of course the reverse is true as well. Um, and yeah, it's obviously the same with uh, Nate and Rosa. If you play as Rosa, then Nate is uh, is uh, in the battle subway as well. So it's kind of neat. Kind of neat. They do exist in universe simultaneously. 
Which isn't always the case. Like, for example, uh, Victor and Gloria do not exist simultaneously. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just find that kind of interesting. Wait, is this? This is, this is wild, right? Run away. Good. <laughs> Medicham. Uh, Damakirby says, whenever I hear her fight me nowadays, I get flashbacks of Meta Knight yelling at me through the through the Weaver mode. Oh yeah, from like Brawl, from Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah, fight me. <laughs> Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, Sergeant says, but Fungus Girl and Dewat Kid are game canon. Are they game canon? Uh, I was gonna say I never played the. I, I presume that's Pokestar Studios stuff. I never played through most of that, so I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. The only one I know is Riolu Girl, cause that that one's required to do. <laughs> Move the boulder. This has to be a, a hidden item, right? Just has to be. Uh, so it says, oh, apparently Black Two uh, still uses code name, but uh, he goes. He also goes by Blake. Oh, I see. See, that, that's that feels a lot nicer. Like Blake and Whiteley. Whiteley's a little bit of a weird name, but at least it sounds like a name as opposed to Y Two. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I reject that. I reject that. Devakaru says, I love the aesthetic of Mount Coronet's outsides, especially the, the calm but tense music. It, you know what's interesting? It's very reminiscent of Mount Silver, but it's kind of like better. It's like better Mount Silver. Because Mount Silver in, uh, especially in Gold and Silver, it's a little better in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But um, in the originals, Mount, uh, Mount Silver sucks. <laughs> it's so boring. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think Mount, Mount Coronet's really cool. Very, very cool. I say, after this battle, I do want to go get a quick refill on coffee. Uh, I have run run out, but um, yeah, let's go out to uh, Pasha. Uh, Sergeant says, I love how you call her Whiteley. Uh, makes more sense. Uh, my assumption was, uh, oh, like wh like Whitley? Oh, interesting. I mean, it, I guess it's hard to say. It's I, Is that is is it a real name, or is it just, like, a corruption? I mean, obviously, it's based on white, but, like, I would wonder if that's, like, an actual name, and if it is, like, how it would be pronounced. That's actually fascinating. Wh uh, Whitley. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess it's possible that that's how you say it. Huh, interesting. I guess I just assumed. Uh, Casper says, for question of the day, I know you say four, but I'd love to see Karen, Sydney, Grimsley, Nanu, Pierce, and Marnie. Uh, let me see all all the Dark Traders fight. It would. I am glad that there's enough like Dark Traders to like have like a really interesting like like lineup at this point because it took them forever to finally like make proper Dark type Traders. <laughs> it's nice, it's nice. Uh, I mean, Pierce was literally the first Dark Gym leader ever, and technically Marty is the second Dark Gym leader ever. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. Why did it take him so long? Dang. <laughs> but yeah, Karen and Sydney are great, and, and Grimsley, of course, and Nanu. I mean, all the Dark Type trainers are great. I like all of them. All right, bonk this dust talks nice and easy. Uh, SP says, huh, I might make some donuts today. <gasps> oh, that sounds so good, SPS. Oh my gosh. Will you share with the rest of the class? Ah, oh, that sounds really good. I love donuts. <laughs> In moderation. I can't have too many of them or I get a tummy ache. Um, but yeah, I love donuts. Uh, I really want to send out ukulele, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't send out ukulele. Ukulele, you're just going to have to sit back. I can't risk it this late in the game. <laughs> Uh, Sergeant says, still, bothers me that Sword and Shield characters are named Henry Sword and Casey Shield. That's their name in the manga? I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. No, Gloria and Victor. That's their names. Why you do this? I mean, I know, what, 
Actually, I'm curious, Starchamp, have the, like, I don't know if you know the answer to this or not. Why don't they call them the, the default names? Why do they always call them something weird? I'm just curious about that. Uh, Democrats is that moment when Fairy Type came over a decade after Dark, but still has more gym leaders than it. I know, it feels super awkward, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Casper says we do have three Dark Type Elite Fours and Nanu. I mean, it's true. Nanu's like a weird. Ca I think. Uh, I think they actually said that. Um, I think they said that, uh, like, in universe, that, like, they invited Nanu to be part of the Elite Four, but he was like, that sounds like work. So he's like, I'm not going to do that. That sounds too, that sounds like I'd have to put in the initiative, <laughs> which I think is incredibly funny. That's why they invited Ace Arola instead. Um, yeah, I think that's very amusing, actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, all of the, all of the stinking, um, all of the stinking, um, uh, Elite Four members are super cool for the Dark Type trainers. I think they're all very nice. Um, I love Karen. She's great. She's great. And Cindy's cool too. He's a little uh, underwhelming, but and then of course Grimsley. Grimsley, my my good my good friend Grimsley. Uh, SP says, to be honest, Dark took a while to be great. Fairy was great out the gate. It's true. I mean, Fairy is just a really busted typing in general. I've mentioned that in the past. I think it's, like, the most OP typing. Sergeant says, honestly, I don't know. Each each uh, main character is named off of their representative title, starting with red, green. Yeah, no, yeah, they, they usually went with, like, the title of the game, which I can respect that for sure. Especially since that, what, that used to be the naming convention for, um... For, uh, for the characters in the game universe as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Democrat says, just now realizing that Nanu is the kahuna of an island full of babies running trial. It's true. Yeah, like a bunch of like little kids. I, I think the in-universe uh, Sophocles is like relatively new to being the trial captain. But yeah, coincidentally, yeah, all of his, all of his uh, trials are all kids. Though then again, I think um, technically the same is true on Akala Island, because uh, Malo, Kiawe, and Lana are all quite young. I think that uh, Kiawe is the oldest, but I, th I still think he's actually underage. Like, I think he might be like 15 or 16. I don't know. I don't know what he is in, in universe. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, Star Chan. I, I don't know. I guess especially with the ones that like have in-game names, like that you like, you know, like uh, for example, Ethan and Lyra. Obviously, they you know what came way later, but like I guess uh, another a more apt example would be like uh, Hilda and Hilbert, uh, Nate and Rosa, uh, Serena and Caleb. Um, it's interesting that like they have in, you know, very very clear like from just playing you know X and Y, black and white, whatever. Um, they have official names. So it's just like. Why didn't you just use those? <laughs> they're perfectly, they're perfectly viable. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, you know, obviously creative liberties and all that. They could do whatever they want, but it's just fascinating, a fas uh, fascinating uh, thing to ponder over, I suppose. Uh, we've been using Travolta a lot this stream. <laughs> Maybe I'll use someone else. Let's go with, um, let's go with, let's go with Crash. We'll do Crash this time. Uh, SB says, Fairy also needs a weakness to dark. Good and evil should be uh, uh, opposed to each other. Actually, that would be really interesting, SBS, if they did make it where, yeah, Fairy is good against dark, but dark is also good against Fairy. That would be pretty cool, actually. It would have, like, a, a good good flavor to it. I agree with that, for sure. That could be it, Star Champ. Yeah, Star Champ says I assume it might be because they gotten the, uh, the they had not gotten the official names early in production in the Gen Two game. I mean, I because I think no, the uh, it it used to be that he was called Gold, um, the the character from Jodo. Uh, it, it was it was Gold and Chris. Uh, the, those were their actual official names. Uh, he, they changed his name with Heart Gold, so it's now it, it is the same character to be clear. Um, they just changed the name, so now it's Ethan uh, instead of Gold. Um, so yeah, the only the only um, the only characters who maintained the color naming scheme are red and blue, and uh, t and you know they added green later as well. 
Um, yeah, everyone else is either, uh, well, there's Leaf, which is sort of her, you know, she's sort of her own, <laughs> her own thing. But, uh, yeah, there's Leaf, and then everyone else just has people names. <laughs> okay, um, really quickly, uh, before, before I get too much farther, uh, through Mount Coronet here, uh, I am gonna go get that, uh, refill on coffee. So, um, I hope everyone will, uh, stick around. Um, I will be back in just a moment, so, yeah, stay tuned, everybody. Okay, everybody, I have returned. Thank you all for your patience. Um, I'm gonna bump the mic real quick and then we're gonna jump back in. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's do it. Um, uh, if I can remember where to go. This part always trips me up. I think I remember in the original game, um, I didn't notice this uh, secondary rock cliff right here and it threw me off for a really long time. I used to get lost in the Mount, in Mount Hornet quite a bit, but I think I'm more, more or less good with it now. <laughs> but I think this is the way to go, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Protagonist characters in Pokemon games always... I don't know why. I don't know what it is about. I guess just, like, the idea that they're basically blank slates is just kind of fascinating to, like, think about them as characters, quote-unquote. <laughs> I don't know. They're interesting. I like them. Plus, you see them a lot in, in the games you play, so... You know. They're, um... You know, prominent in my mind. <laughs> I like them. I was, I was gonna say, uh, do, do y'all have any speculation for, like, it, like if you assume that the name is some sort of reference to Scarlet and Violet, do y'all have any speculation for what the protagonists of, uh, Scarlet and Violet's, what, like, what their names would be? I have, I have my, um, my ideas, but I'm curious if y'all have any. <laughs> hey, the Galactic Front with the Bronzor. Let's-a go. Go, oh, Dapper Kirby's got me on the water. Thank you, Dapper Kirby. Dapper Kirby says Carl and Violet. Yeah, Carl is one of mine as well. Um, I, I would I would call the the, 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 the guy Carl. Like Scarl it. <laughs> Get it? It's funny. <laughs> um uh, I'm gonna switch on this one. Let's go to Fasha. Um, yeah, Carl's good. I, I like Letty. That's the one that I've been going with. It could just be Violet, right? Like, Violet. But I feel like that's a little too on the nose, you know? Um, but yeah, I like Letty. Letty's good. Carl and Letty. 
Uh, Sarkis says, I really hope that they just call them Scarlet and Violet in the manga, with Scar being, uh, being the male. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would, honestly, like, if there was ever a time to just embrace the, the title names, it, may, it actually makes sense, because, like I said, Violet is a real name. And then uh, Scarlet's a little bit of a stretch, but, like, I can totally see it. Uh, and, and actually, I mean, it is a, na it is a name for, um, you know, obviously it's a, a, a feminine name, but I, I don't know. They could make it work for, for, for a boy, I think. So, yeah, Scarlet and Violet. Why not? Why not? But, uh, yeah, I, I like <laughs> I like Carl and Letty. They probably won't go with those, but it would be funny. <laughs> um, let's go back to Petals here. Is there, is there any other what 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 else could they do? I guess if they weren't just trying to go for like a pun name, what would they call them? Like some some sort of like uh, less indir or, or I guess more indirect reference. What would they what would they come up with? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I guess it would help if we knew more about the actual um, the actual like lore of the of the games. Like what the we have like a vague idea of like the premise of Scarlet and Violet, but not a whole lot of details yet. Which I guess on the topic of Scarlet and Violet. Um, Spoilers are okay. Um, we can we can discuss uh, Scarlet and Violet things from the recent trailer, everybody. But just keep in mind that yeah, we are going to be discussing it. So if you're trying to avoid spoilers, then you know bow out as necessary. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I don't know. It, it, it'll be interesting to see what they do. It'll be very interesting to see what they do. All right, another grunt. Uh, so it says, I mean, it is Spain, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, maybe they could go, like, uh, just, like, a couple, like, Spanish names. Like, a Spanish, like, uh, first names. They, they could do something like that, Star Champ. That'd be fascinating. I don't know what they'd go with. I don't know enough about Spanish culture to really have much of an input there. But, yeah, I wonder what uh, some possibilities would be there, for sure. Oh, hello. Um, I don't think you meant to do that, Star Champ. <laughs> No emote only. <laughs> uh, you just opened mod view. Oh, weird. <laughs> no worries. I um, I I uh, I re-enabled it, so it's all good. <laughs> yes, yeah, spooky, spooky, spooky. Uh, SP says, I can't believe that Flash movie is still coming out. How did that one start? Of all the things, yeah, of all the of all the products to actually remain, that is an interesting that one that, that that one of all of them is coming out still. I can't imagine it's going to make much of a return, so it seems like it would probably just be best to, like, shake the dust off and move on from that. But whatever. Do what, you, do what you're going to do, Warner Brothers. <laughs> Ooh, Dr. Kirby's got me on the water redemption once again. Thank you, Dr. Kirby. Uh, Casper says, thoughts on whether we'll get a Paldean Quagsire or a new Wooper Evolution? Um, good question, Casper. I've been thinking about that myself. Um, they, they, in the past, they haven't, they don't usually show both forms. Um, they don't usually show, like, the, you know, all the, the full evolution line or anything when they reveal Pokemon, but, like, um, I don't know, like, what would, what would they do for, I hope that if they do do a Paldean Quagsire, that it's not just brown Quagsire. <laughs> um, like, that'd be, that'd be fine, you know, of course, it'd be fine enough, but, like, I hope that they, like, I don't think I, I don't, I don't know, do I want a Paldean Quagsire, or do I want an alternate evolution? I think I would want Paldean Quagsire. If anything, I think I would want a Paldean Quagsire to evolve into something that's exclusive to, um, um, exclu exclusive to the, the Paldean Quagsire. So, like, you know, not regular Quagsire doesn't evolve, but that one does. Uh, Roxas the Zerg says, wait, uh, you all haven't seen this new trailer? No, we have. We have seen the trailer, Roxas. Um, I was given a disclaimer about, like, you know, in case folks want to avoid spoilers. Uh, I've seen it. I, a lot of folks in chat have seen it. We are discussing it. Um, so feel free to talk about it. But, um, yeah, just, I, I'm giving occasional disclaimers about it. <laughs> uh, Dapper says, imagine having different types of Fido. They're not, but they're not, uh, breeds. They're breads. Aw! <laughs> different different breads of Fido. Oh, that's really cute, Dr. Kirby. <laughs> um, uh, also, welcome, Roxas. Good to see you. Um, yeah, no, um, hmm. Hmm. What would I want? I guess I would want, um, I guess I would want, I would want a Paldean Quagsire. 
And if it gets an evolution, that would also be cool. Um, as far as what I'd want the uh, Paldean Quagsire to be, I think I would I would almost want it to still have like the Wooper spikes and like kind of like go crazier with them since it's a poison type that can make them all like spiny and like, you know, poisony looking, I guess. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. What would you all want for Paldean Quagsire? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, totally, Roxas. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's, I mean, it's not, it's not just gonna be Pelde and Wooper, that's for certain. But um, as far as what it'll be, hard to say. Will it be, will it be Pelde and Quagsire, or will it just be like a brand new Pokemon, like the way that uh, Galarian Mask uh, evolves into Runarigus instead of a Um Will they do something like that? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Only time will tell. But uh, yeah. A lot of potential there. A lot of potential there. I wonder who else will also get the Paldean treatment. Like who all? Like who all will get a regional variant? I'm uh, I'm pretty fascinated by like what they could do there. Maybe they'll do Audino. Although I they, like I've mentioned in the past, if they do if they do anything to Audino, I'm gonna be very very critical of it. I have to be very careful with my with my baby. Uh, Sergeant says, I mean, it's likely not gonna be just Quagsire, right? Usually it's a different Pokemon. I wouldn't say usually. Um, I wouldn't say usually. Um, I mean, we got like a Lola. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, there'd be. There's like a Lolan Muck. There's a Lolan. Um, what? Uh, Sand Slash. Nine Tails. They're all you know evolutions. Um, um, yeah. So it's you know we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, Dapper Kirby says, it, it would be really fun if uh, Fido changed forms in harsh sunlight and they call it the baked or toasted form because he gets cooked. Oh, that's really cute, Dapper Kirby. That's really clever. I like it. <laughs> uh, Sarge says, because it, uh, it, it had a different form, it would be like glaring weeds. I mean, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Uh, there, there's a lot of potential there. It could be like, it could be one of those things where like, you know, um, Galarian Farfetch'd, um, evolves into Surfetch, but normal Farfetch doesn't. Um, it could be, it, like I said, Yamask and, and, Kof and uh, Kofagrigus, uh, and Runarigus. Uh, Galarian Yamask does not evolve into any form of Kofagrigus. It evolves into a brand new Pokemon, Runarigus. Um, same with Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime evolves into a brand new Pokemon. Um, or, well, Galarian Mr. Mime does, I should say. Um, yeah, so it, it could be something like that. It's hard to say. Hey, there we go, Star Champ. Good, uh, good uh, redemption on the question of the day. Yeah, that's a great question. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'll write that down. I might save that for a few days from now, which we have a a, a good little chunk of po of uh, question of the days to get through. So it's all good. Uh, just to give it, because I, you know, some people might be, uh, you know, avoiding spoilers for a little while. But yeah, here in like, uh, you know, a few streams, I'll pop that question down for sure. Uh, Casper says, I think it would be really fun to see Quag on all four. Ooh, quadruped Quag. Yo. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, yeah, Quagdruped. <laughs> very nice, Dapper Kirby. Very good. Um, yeah, that would be cool. Yo, what if what if it's Quag, but you ride it like the, the motorcycle Pokemon, the, the legendaries? <laughs> motorcycle Quag? Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, I guess it would be really similar to Swampert, huh, SBS? I don't know. I still feel like they could probably take it, like, a different uh, different direction, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. What would... I wonder what, like, an evolution to Paldean Quagsire would even look like. Like, what would it be? Like, what if they made it, like, really big and, like, monstery? That'd be really cool. That'd be really, really cool. They could make it, like, into a giant derp monster. <laughs> Which, I mean, what Quagsire is already basically that. But, I don't know. It'd be cool. Um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, Quagzilla. There you go, uh, Dapper Kirby. Uh, Sergeant says, so can we talk about how uh, one's wheels are, are spiky so, <laughs> so and you have to run on them? I that's I'm, I have such mixed feelings about, what's it called? Uh, Coridon? I think that's what it's called. Um, Coridon's, what, he has the wheels, but he runs? <laughs> what are the wheels for? <laughs> it's very strange. It's very strange. Uh, Maridon looks great, like just you know, hovering around like a little motorcycle, uh, hover motorcycle. But like, why does Karidon walk? <laughs> uh, it's very silly. It's very very silly. Um, but yeah. So uh, here we are. We made it to Spear Pillar. Very good. 
Um, let's see if we can take it on then, shall we? Um, who do we... Ooh, um, we're a little damaged. Uh, I could probably just heal with super potions, though. That'll work. And I think Barry gives us a heal before we actually fight Cyrus as well. Uh, not, not that. I want super potions. There we go. <laughs> the wheels are to hit you. I mean, I guess so. I guess so. I bet you, I bet you both of them will get gear grind for that reason. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, SPS says the, the wheels are likely for off-road or unstable roads. I guess so. I guess so. I will say I like, as far as the glider mode goes, I actually like Coridon better. Uh, the, the glider looks way better on the on the prehistoric one as opposed to the future. I don't like the... I mean, it looks like a glider, but I don't like how flat the uh, the glider looks for Maridon. Not a fan. Uh, Kirby says, I feel it was an unintentional pun, but I love that the legendaries have ride on in their names. Um, I actually feel like it probably was intentional, Dapper Kirby, personally. Um, yeah, that's... I mean, that's just my take. Okay, we're all healed up. Good. Let's do Spear Pillar. Something huge is going to happen. I think maybe, right? Don't meddle around. Of course, we're going. To, you're going to, aren't you? Well, the two of us will team up and take you down to the ground. Uh, Casper says it's for gripping while climbing and an uneven terrain. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It's really fascinating. I wonder what the um. I was gonna say usually box legendaries come in trios, right? So like, I wonder what the third legendary is gonna be, or if it. I wonder if it will also be something you can ride or not. Also, oof, on ukulele being out right now, I definitely have to switch. Um, we will Giga Drain Stunky, and then ukulele, you need to get out of here, my friend. I'm sorry. Uh, we will go out to Fasha. Should have probably been more prepared for the double battle there, but that's okay. We will power through. Ooh, Stunky almost goes down. Not quite, though. SPS is used as pursuit. I mean, I guess I, that is something I probably should have been a little more worried about, huh? SPS with the dark type out? Definitely possible. <laughs> Sergeant says, okay, does Sword and Shield have a third? It does, yes. Uh, it's in, it's uh, You fight it during the main the course of the main game. It doesn't really match Zacian and Zamazenta very well, but it, it is effectively the, the third legendary, yeah. It's uh, Eternatus. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me, let me rearrange here. Let's go for a... Well, okay, no. we'll, we'll get Gadrain Stunky, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll Flamethrower Dust Talks. Okay, <laughs> I was trying to work things out in my head. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Dust Ox goes right down. Hey, ukulele hits 49. Very good. And down goes Stunky as well. And yeah, we just need to take on, um, we need to take on uh, Jupiter and Mars, but it's a double battle with Barry, and I gotta be careful. <laughs> I do have to be very careful in that one, um, because they got some strong stinking Pokemon. Oh, you have more Pokemon? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Just kidding, we're not there yet. Okay, go for the Giga Drain. And go for the Flamethrower. Okay, Krogan goes down, very good. And glad me it goes down. Also good. Now we're in good shape. Also, I was sad. I did. I did get my refill on coffee, but I only had enough. I only had enough in the pot for like half a cup. Feels bad. Feels super super bad. No ukulele. You can't evolve. I'm sorry. It is unacceptable. Well, that was just pathetic. We're just gonna let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. Well then, you should have just done that from the start then. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, I'll go ahead. I'm just gonna save just for good measure, actually. It's just because it's a good idea. 
Um, and then, yeah, we will... I need to put... I want to put Fasha out front. I think Fasha is probably the best Pokemon on my team to deal with uh, both um, Jupiter and Mars. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put Fasha out. I'll heal out up that little baby amount of HP there. We've got, like, berries or something, I'm sure. Um, I hate the exclamation point. It always drives me crazy. <laughs> okay, yeah, Orin Berry. There we go. Beautiful. And, yeah, Fasha will lead against these two. Now all will end and everything will begin. It's weird that they say boss instead of Cyrus. That's unusual. Did they say that in the original Diamond of Pearl too? I'm not sure. With this red chain, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me, Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. Wow. Super spooky. Also, these cutscenes come off as so weird with the chibi bottles. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, right? SP, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, it's it's very awkward, <laughs> very awkward indeed. This will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. Can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. Uh, Sorry, says I know it's a uh, di uh, dial, but I'm still gonna call it Dialga. Uh, I mean, that's your prerogative, Star Champ. <laughs> you can you can you can say it wrong if you want to say it wrong. That's totally valid. Uh, hey there, Callie. Welcome back. Oh, f the government. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. I take it things did not go very well with the um with the passport situation. <laughs> that, uh, I, I presume. <laughs> SB says, I just want to say that uh, Dialga and Palkia uh, origin forms are mad lame. I uh, They they leave a lot of room uh, for improvement, honestly, SBS. I think they could have been a lot cooler looking. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Kelly. Lovely to see you again. This world cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world that than to change this one. A new world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. All right, let's go. Uh, Kali says I have to retake a photo because my kid's head was tilted slightly. Oh my goodness gracious, that's um, that's uh, nice and nice and silly. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's so lame, Kali. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry to hear that. That's super big lame. All right, let's let's go. I was gonna say, do the do the movie say it that way, Sarge? I mean, hey, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I actually haven't verified how to say that one. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll have to look into the pronunciation on it. I at so at some point, I, I I tossed around the idea in my head of like making a like a video or something that was like I just like go through and look up like officially like with like actual sources and stuff like that like shown. Like, how to say every Pokemon name. Would that be something that folks would be interested in if I, like, worked on as, like, a side project? I thought about doing it just because it would be really interesting to learn. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. That'd be... I don't know. Let me know if that if there's intrigue there. I would totally give it a shot. There's no need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss really bad, but you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time my gloves are coming off. Hi, Barry. Hold on a sec. Don't don't you start the party without me. Huh. What if it isn't the little boy who ran off crying at Lake Akiti? Did you get any tougher since then? Well, be we'll beat you two on two. Let's go. Uh, Callie says, I would be interested. I think the series says so, uh, some names different than what uh, the English language is saying. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's super fascinating. I find, like, name, name origins and, like, you know, the way that you pronounce things, like, super fascinating. So, yeah, I've, I've definitely been playing around with the idea in my head. If there's interest, absolutely, I might look into it. It would take a lot of work, though. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I will um, I will see what the, what my options are. That could be kind of fun. Uh, all right, we will flamethrower bron Bronzor. SPS says, can we just leave Barry for dead and take on Cyrus again? Lol. <laughs> yeah, Barry, you deal with these two. I'll go fight Cyrus. It'll be great. <laughs> that seems super fair and balanced, right? 
It is kind of funny that, like, after you beat these two, Barry just, like, bounces. <laughs> it's just like, you could help me, like, we could two on two, or two on one Cyrus and, you know, try and save the world, but, you know, go, go off to do the Pokemon League or whatever it is you're doing, Barry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for the Mock Punch on Perugly. I hope that one shots. It might not. Yeah, it did not, because you're, you're, you're very tanky. Fair enough. Berry? Ooh, cit citrus berry, I guess. Yeah, that's the one. Goes for a dig. Okay, fair enough. Trying to hit me for the super effective. I, I see you. Goes for extra sensory. We're definitely going to have to switch here. Not trying to catch a dig from, uh, from that. Uh, I don't think I have anything that would, like, dodge it fully, but, um... I can at least swap out to... Let's see, who would be good? Uh, Crash would probably be okay. The extra sensory will still hit me, but, like, for super effective. But I think I'll be okay. I think Crash can take it. Oh, yeah, we absolutely eat the dig. Because for Confuse Ray... Oh, that's super lame. Not a fan of that. Uh, Casper says, how did Barry find us? We left him at the lake near Snow Point, right? That's a good point. Yeah, like, how did he know? Did they... Well, I guess uh, Jupiter did say that they were going to Mount Coronet. I guess he just wandered around in Mount Coronet until he found Spear Pillar. <laughs> I guess. Um, that would be my only assumption. <laughs> Maybe that's what took him so long. Maybe that's why, like, while I was fighting all those, like, grunts and stuff, he was, like, trying to make his way through the caves. <laughs> Do I have anything to heal confusion? I'd really rather not have to deal with that, to be honest. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Rats. Um, I think I gotta switch again. Let's go. I can go back out. Well, I could go back out to Fasha. Um, it's just gonna that the Perugly's just gonna go for another dig though on Fasha. Although, it might not go for it on Crash, so maybe I can switch to Fasha and then, like, mock Punch it for to, to knock it out before it digs. I think that seems reasonable. Hopefully the Golbat doesn't have, like, anything crazy for flying. Body Slam. Whoa, that's... Ugh. Oh, God, that's a little low. Oh, and the Paralysis. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Air Cutter. Ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, Frugly. Ooh, par uh, Frugly gets paralyzed also. That's good. That's good. Can I... Do I have a full restore? That'd be handy. Um... No. Unfortunately, I do not. Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> this is kind of lame. Uh, I'm in a bit of an awkward spot here. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of good switching options. I wanted to mock punch, but that paral uh, paralysis really kind of screws me over here. Uh, Kali says Team Galactic is right up there with uh, Team Rocket for my favorite baddies. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, they're all they're all right. I like I like the the commanders a lot. I'm not huge on the grunts themselves, but uh, I do like the commanders. Yeah, Barry did do good there. SPS actually. <laughs> I'm glad that it did damage to um to Perugly. I think Fasha will be okay if I heal, and then the Golbat can go either the Golbat or the Perugly can go down to Munchlax. Hopefully going for Body Slam. Okay, not, not too shabby. Okay, Perugly goes for Dig. Aw, oh, dang, but, but, but the Perugly avoids. Okay, I need to switch again, I think. Back out to Crash. Oh, the, <laughs> I was gonna say, Mars and Jupiter are actually kind of giving me a run for my money here. Not bad. Okay, I should be able to get an attack in this time. Golbat gets some damage on it. I think I can just go for Surf here and probably knock out Golbat and Perugly. And probably also Barry's much slack, so sorry about that, Barry. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
Worth it. Okay, the Munchlax lives. That's nice. <laughs> but yeah, point is, they're all knocked out. That's great. Yeah, Barry's actually doing some work here. Uh, I, yeah, it's, it's true, SPS. That, yeah, Barry actually kind of coming in clutch here. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, another Golbat. And then, um, I presume, yeah, Scud Tank is also coming out. That makes sense. I can actually go for Earth Power on that. You're living though. Ugh, I was really hoping you'd go down there. And the citrus berry. Ugh, I don't like how low Crash's health is uh, with that Skuntank living. I thought that Earth Power would do more, honestly. Poison Fang. Okay, on Munchlax, good. Good, good. I don't, I don't care about Barry's Munchlax. Sorry, Barry. <laughs> um, no, that's good. That's really good. I, I really wish I had full restores. <laughs> Some damage on the skun tank. It's the paralysis. Very nice, Barry. Very nice. Barry, my 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 boy. <laughs> this Munchlax is, is actually kinda hype, to be honest. <laughs> um, okay, let me I gotta swap. Um I hate that there's another Golbat out though. Um Is it wor let's see, can I go to Petals? I might be able to go to Petal. Oh no, that that Skun Tank has Flamethrower, doesn't it? Uh, I probably should not go to Petals. And then Golbat is a problem too. So yeah, I, tricky, very tricky. I guess I'll go back out to Fasha and, and heal the Paralysis. I guess that's a thing. Uh, SB says, Tag Barry, more, compl more compliments than anyone in chat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really compliment people very often, do you, SPS? <laughs> not really, uh, not really your jam, in my experience. Belch. Oh god, that's that's kind of strong, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, Barry's got the Star Raptor out. Goes for Intimidate, Inner Focus, fair enough. But Skun Tank should be lowered. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Okay, I need to heal. Fasha, if you wanted to break through Paralysis because you love me, that'd be really nice. Um, yeah, let me just go for a Hyper Potion real fast, get Fasha back up to full, and I need to get the Paralysis off really badly. Hopefully we can pull that off here shortly. Okay, so we're after Flux. Get some damage on Gold Bat, that's good. Don't you... Oh wait, I'm not... Or you can't poison me because I'm paralyzed. Haha. -ha. Okay, let me get this paralysis off. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> um, I should have something for that, right? Paralyze heal. Beautiful. Ooh, Barry. Yo, Barry's got the quick claw on the Star Raptor. Hype. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, more damage on Golbat. Good. Poison Fang. Ooh, Fasha dodging. <laughs> Very good. Very good. It's gonna take us paralyzed. Ooh, now we in good. Now we in good shape here. Now we just go for uh, we just go for flamethrower here. Get the skun tank out of here. Get on out of here, Jupiter. Whew, that was uh yeah I had to I had to do some dancing around on that on this fight, but I think we got it now. Probably the most challenging fight we've had in the playthrough so far, to be honest. Except for maybe that Rourke fight. <laughs> Rourke always gives me a hard time for some reason. <laughs> Very nice. Sheesh, I could have done the fighting myself. Huh, you've toughened up, but you're no match for our boss. All right. Very good. Yeah, I know Barry. Barry was crushing it on that that one SBS. I'm I'm also pleasantly surprised. Thanks, Barry. You're pretty cool. You're a pretty cool uh lad. <laughs> I appreciate you. Okay, there we go. No. Oh my God. Everyone's trying to evolve. No, stop it. <laughs> you can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> my Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know what? Uh, you know, but you know that is that is that uh, that's it for us. We've hit the wall, Lids. I'll help you with this. 
Yay, we get the free heal. Thank you, Barry. Hey, Lids. This is it. It's your show now. What What do you have to do that's so important that you have to just bounce while the world is ending? Come on, Barry. <laughs> oh, Dialga. This is... Dialga taking a nap real quick. <laughs> Oh, no, he's making the universe. Got it. <laughs> kind of looked like he was falling asleep for a second. Fantastic. Beautiful. It's the creation of a new galaxy. My new world. Wh what? A. It's, it's the trio. Very nice. P. Yes, as they say, Yuxi. Also P. Wow. <laughs> All right, there we go. They're just like, come on, Diaga, be cool. Diaga's like, All right. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> oh, I like their little surprise faces, though. Those are kind of cute. Hi, Mesprit. See ya. <laughs> Dialka's just like, did I leave the stove on? Thread chain. It crumbled away to nothing. But why? Why would Mesprit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? But never mind that. It's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone. I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. But before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you. Ooh, and then he does the stompies. <laughs> He's just like, I'm gonna come over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Final Cyrus fight. Team Galactic Boss Cyrus with the Haunch Crow. Wait, who am I leading with? Uh, oh no, Fasha. No, dang. I, I well, there's nothing I could have done about that because it didn't. Give, it didn't even give me an opportunity to um. Uh, it didn't even give me an opportunity to switch Pokemon, so, um, is this fine? I don't know if this is fine. I don't want to stay and, like, catch, like, a acrobatics or something like that. Um, is this, is it, is it okay to clean switch into Travolta? Or not clean switch, but is it okay to hard switch? Um, Air Cutter, Night Slash, Steel Wing, and Defog. Uh, I guess so? Uh, I don't, I can't see it going for, for Night Slash, so Travolta should resist. Uh, Kali says, ooh, is this right before the distortion? Unfortunately, uh, because it's, uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are based on Diamond and Pearl instead of Platinum, there's no distortion world in this game, which is super bummy. Uh, super, super bummy. So, yeah, sadly, no distortion world for us. Alright, get him, Travolta. One shot, Thunderbolt. Ugh, it lives. Feels bad. Defog? Uh, we're, well, we're faster, so... Uh, that was an interesting choice there, uh, Cyrus. Well, catch this next Thunderbolt. Ooh, you got the full restores. Okay, fair enough. You're still on the defensive, though. Super Potion? Lol. Goes for Full Restore and then goes for Super Potion? What are you? <laughs> That's silly. Alright, see you later, Honchkrow. Yeah, no, I wish I wish they had, like, included a lot of the elements from Platinum. Uh, it's super bummy that they didn't, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh, Gyarados. Ooh. Uh, I want to stay in, but that kind of scares me a little bit, to be honest. Do y'all, I mean, Travolta one-shots, right? But are we faster? Is Electric faster than Gyarados? What does Gyarados have? Hold on, let me check. Um, Gyarados has Ice Fang, Water, ooh, it has Earthquake. Ooh, if I don't one-shot, that's a bad time right there. Um, yeah, it's Ice Fang, Waterfall, Crunch, and Earthquake. Ice Fang, Waterfall, Crunch, and Earthquake. Hmm, that's a little bit spooky. Um, Sergeant says, would you live in the distortion world? I would live in the distortion world. I probably would not. It's a little spooky there. <laughs> it's a little spooky. Uh, is 
Electrike faster than Gyarados. This is important. Um, let me... I feel like Thunderbolt one-shots a Gyarados. Does, this does, does it have an item or anything? Uh, it has a Wakonberry? What's a Wakonberry? Uh, Wakonberry... Lessons... Oh, it lessens the damage taken from super effective electric-type attacks. Eek. Okay, yeah, so... Travolta probably does not one-shot then, <laughs> and it will Earthquake and kill Travolta. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. It cries in Garatina, so it's Kali oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to have to come up with a new plan then. Um, maybe I just go for someone neutral, someone relatively neutral. Uh, you don't, do you have a flying move on Gyarados? No. Okay, so Ice Fang, Waterfall, Crunch, and Earthquake. I think that, I think that Crash can handle it then. Um, we can hit it for neutral Ice Beam or just neutral Psychic. Um, I think that'll be good. Yeah, I, I, I want I want Travolta to just Thunderbolt it, but it's not going to work with that berry. Uh, like, even without the berry, I wasn't sure if it would kill. With the berry, it definitely does not kill. I'm not trying to catch an Earthquake. Um, you got this, Crash. Uh, Callie says, I love how you actually strategize with numbers, and I'm just like, hit hard, hit fast. I mean, that's that's usually how I am, but if there's one thing that I've learned <laughs> from from doing as many play, because this is our 39th playthrough for the Forever Lock Challenge, if there's one thing I've learned is that, like, you have to be careful with, like, late game battles, because you could steamroll the whole game and then just, like, woof it at the very end. So <laughs> I'm trying really hard. Um, okay, yeah, I will go for, let's go for Psychic. SBS is flying is bad for all of your evolved Pokemon. Yeah, it is kind of a problem. Luckily, this Gyarados does not have a flying move. <laughs> Dapper Kirby says, Lin's using numbers. Don't joke around. I mean, yeah, no, I like, I usually get, usually, uh, I was going to say, uh, Callie, the, the usual order of operations is I do something stupid, chat yells at me, no, don't do that, and then I die. <laughs> That's usually how it goes down. I'm actually quite proactive on this playthrough. Kind of nice. <laughs> Earthquake, that's fine. Yeah, no, because I, I very much wanted to smack that Gyarados with a Thunderbolt, but it would not have gone in my favor, as it turns out. <laughs> uh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, we're doing good. I gotta, he I gotta heal here. That's fine. We'll go for that, uh, that sweet Hyper Potion. Crash is thrilled to bits. I'm so happy for you, Crash. Alright, and go for another Psychic. Is this enough, or do I need one more? Uno mas, uno mas. Alright, Crash, finish it off. Way to, way to, way to tank this Gyarados, Crash. I appreciate you. You are a, you are a good, you are a good little Poliwog friend. Oh, you're switching? Hello? Ooh, the, wow, the, the, the hard read into Weavile? Crazy. What's this Weavile got that you're switching into for? Uh, Metal Claw, Fling, Aerial, oh, Aerial Ace, that's what it is. Um, I don't have a, <laughs> hilariously enough, I don't have a fighting move on my fighting type, so, um, but yeah, you're probably going for Aerial Ace here, I imagine, then, right? I bet you Fasha can tank it. <laughs> Dr. Kirby says, Una Mas. Ooh, Lid's already learned the Paldean language. Ooh, very nice, Dr. Kirby. Very nice. Ooh, that was a surprising amount of damage. Um, but I... How confident... Well, I was gonna say, if it crits, that would be really lame. But Mach Punch has priority, and it's four times. So I think Mach Punch kills here. Unless... Hold on, actually. Before I commit... See, this is why this is why we check it. It's holding a Chopal Berry. I bet you anything, Chopal reduces fighting damage. Chopal Berry. Um, let's see. What does it do? What does it do? Um, where, where's the freaking effect at? Uh, yep, yep, it lowers fighting damage. Yep. <laughs> you see, you see, this is why we always check. This is why we always, always check. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay, this is, um, hmm. Hmm. 
I need to come up with something here. Uh, a bit awkward. Uh, SB says, I think it would have been better to keep Crash in. Doesn't it have more bulk? I mean, you're probably right. You're probably right. Maybe I switch back to Crash. I think Crash can still take another one. And then, yeah, maybe we just kind of, like, hit it with the bulk. I can hit it with, like, Surf, I guess. That's the play here. That's the play here. I should have checked the berry first, because, yeah, that Chocolate Berry is a problem. Obviously, if we popped it once, it'd be fine, but uh, that arrow ace does too much damage to... Wait, you dig? Hello? Okay, interesting choice. Um, well, at least that gives me a chance to heal Crash. Uh, what about Earth Power? Uh, I mean, Earth Power would be fine. It's not stab, though, and it's not super effective, so... I, I mean, I could, <laughs> but I think I'd rather go for the stab. Uh, Demkirby says, I imagine it's still one-shots. It's four times stab with high attack and too low. I don't... Th I think you underestimate how much those berries actually, uh, re uh like, reduce it. It, re it. I think it cuts damage in half, if I recall correctly. Um, so, like, it, 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 it will... I think it will factor. And, yeah, I don't really want to risk the crit there. Um, I don't know... I'm actually curious. Does it say here on the wiki how much it actually reduces it by? Um... See. I don't see the actual I don't see like where it says like an actual like uh like multiplier. So whatever. Um yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like half. So <laughs> um alright, let's go for yeah, just a surf. I mean I guess you're right, Dapper Kirby. Uh Weavile's defense is pretty bad, but still. <laughs> we'll be alright. I think I think that Crash has got it. Oh, th that was your logic. Okay, that makes sense. That's good. Yeah, no, it's uh, rock is good against ice. Uh, ground is ground is neutral. Um, so yeah, that's the way it that's the way it be. Wait, wait a minute. I don't know why I healed there. Oops. <laughs> I'm so good at Pokemon. Okay, let's uh, let's just go for another surf. Uh, also, uh, the, it could also be that you were thinking, SPS, that it was... Because uh, the opposite is true. Uh, ice is good against ground. Um, so maybe you mix it up that way as well. Lots of possibilities there. All right, now we heal. And yeah, one more uh, one more surf should do the trick here. Aerial ace. Another aerial ace. Totally fine. You got this, Crash. Look at you. Look at you, you good polywog. You good little polywog. Down it goes. Ooh, Travolta hits 52. Very good. Ooh, Petals, you're falling behind. Petals, you need to catch up. Uh, Crobat, let's see. Callie says I still mix up rock and ground. I mean, yeah, they're really, they're, they're really easy to mix up. I totally get it. Uh, Crobat. Crobat. Uh, man, <laughs> Cyrus's team is really difficult for me to deal with, huh? Uh, I could go into Tummy and Zen Head, but what is this, uh, what is this Crobat holding before I commit to anything? Uh, it has the Quick Claw. Okay, so, uh, ooh, it does have U-Turn. I probably shouldn't send in Tummy then. Um, uh, Cross Poison, Tailwind, Air Cutter, and U-Turn. Um... I wonder if Travolt... I mean, I don't know if I'm faster than it, but does Travolta tank any of those from its current health, I wonder? Hmm. Um... I don't know. It's risky. I wish I could have healed Travolta at some point, but I didn't really get a very solid opportunity for that. Other than I guess I could have stalled out the, um... I could have stalled out the Weavile long enough to heal Travolta as well. Um... I guess I'll hope for the best here. I think this is really my best play here. I guess I could heal and see how much see how much damage it does. No, I don't want to. I don't want to have Crash out there to take a flying move for a uh, stab flying move from Crobat SBS. Um, I, just, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, we're definitely not faster than a Crobat. Uh, this is really risky, actually. Maybe I'll heal. I'm going to heal and scope things out, I think. 
I want to see how much damage it actually does with, like, cross poison or whatever it's going to use. Oh, that's the tailwind. Okay, that gives me a turn. That gives me a turn to be okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. That was that was the good play then. That was the good play. Um, it's definitely faster, but I don't think it one shot, so we can get a thunderbolt down. Yeah, we good. We good. So yeah, unless it crits, we should be okay here. for you here. Ooh, we dodging! Oh, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> awesome. Well done. Well done, Travolta. We love you. And Gyarados is last. Um, so yeah, we go back out to Crash. I think that's the play here. <laughs> SBS says, yay, you cheated. I did not. I did not. <laughs> I don't need to cheat at Pokemon. I'm very good. And this team is very good. I love this team. It's a good team. <laughs> well, yes, I'm very intimidated, Gyarados. This, this cannot be. It's not possible that I lose. Okay, let me heal up. Heal up to full real fast, and then we just finish it off with a Psychic. Okay, Earthquake. We already know that we take, take that. No problem. <laughs> hey, I've, I've been doing pretty good considering I've been taking on flying types. No problem, SBS. I'm quite confident. I'm quite confident in this team. I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling nice. Maybe I don't. I won't get cocky, but like I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Star Chance says it's all because of the moral booster. There, yeah, the tummy, 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 good. Tummy's a baby. <laughs> Tummy's just baby. Oh, I love tummy. <laughs> all right, Cyrus goes down. Wahoo! I won't accept this. The power spoken of in mythology. I didn't just make it obey me, I made it my own! Yay! Suck it, Cyrus. No, Travolta, I know you're excited, but you can't evolve, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to deal. And that goes for the rest of you, I know it's all coming. No, Tummy, you can't evolve either, you're just Tummy. What is truly ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? The most important thing, what shines the brightest. Telling you is meaningless, but I will not give up. I will become a deity one day, and I will make the ultimate mine. Uh, SB says, how am I going to deal with Togekiss? Good question. I mean, Electric, maybe? <laughs> uh, I'll figure it out when I get there, SBS. <laughs> Dialga, the master of time. It's impossible to tell if it's enraged or saddened. But to me, Dialga appears to be waiting for you, Lids. It seems to be challenging you to a test. Go on, Lids. Face up to Dialga. Listen to its heart. Understand its thoughts. Dialga is out of control after being dragged dragged out by the Red Chain and forced to use its power. Dialga seems to be trusting you to stop it. Lids, I just ran into Barry. He said that he believed in you. He said that you could get the job done. I think so, too. You've got to help that Pokémon. It's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. All right, well, it's time to catch the Alga then. And yeah, like I said, I think I am just gonna, I could theoretically try and catch it the normal way, but I'd really rather not risk getting like bodied. So I'm just gonna chuck the Master Ball on it and call it a day. I think that's the safest play here. It guarantees us the Dialga. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Ooh, Gug Yug Uba. Well, well put Dialga, aptly put. Finer words really never said. I love the Dialga battle music. It's so good. It's so sticking good. All right, Dialga. Oh, <laughs> Dapper Carice is a tummy by any other name. It's just as rubbable. Oh, that's super cute. <laughs> Sorry, says, wait, all he wanted was to make the ultimate mine. Is, is he just jealous of Rourke? Oh my goodness. I don't think that's what he meant, but I do love that. <laughs> Uh, amazing. Uh, okay, into the Master Ball you go, Dialga. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ba boom! We get ourselves Dialga, and of course, um, this is our first Dialga in the Forever Lock Challenge, so um, it is in fact going to be. Um, uh, I always name the the box mascots after the the game that they represent. So this will of course be Diamond. Diamond the Dialga finally joining the fray after all this time. <laughs> Very good. No ukulele. Come on. <laughs> Come on, my friend. <laughs> aw, that's aw. Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. I grew up with Winnie the Pooh. It's like one of my favorites uh, as, a, as a child. <laughs> yeah, I love Winnie the Pooh. Oh, I can't do a Winnie, Pooh, Winnie the Pooh impression though. Oh, bother. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't even, can't even try. Would you like to give uh, Dialga a nickname? Of course. Yes, Dialga is Diamond. Beautiful. Diamond, 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 diamond. Welcome to the box you go, my friend. Not brilliant. Uh, uh, brilliant will be a good backup name um, in, in case anything happens to this Dialga. No, I usually go for like the original uh, uh, mascot, uh, like box art. So yeah, even though, yeah, we did catch this one in Brilliant Diamond. I'm just going to call it Diamond for now. Um, so yeah, that's the way I'm going to do it. It matches Pearl because we had Pearl, the, the, the Palkia. I'd rather have Diamond and Pearl than Brilliant and Pearl. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lids, I don't know how you, you were truly, mag you were, you were magnificent. Truly, you were incredible. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never seen, uh, I've never been thrilled like this. Since the last time, the professor did a lot of research. He became very worried about you, Lids, so he came out to a place as terrible as this. Yo, Spear Pillar is hype, are you kidding me? It's not terrible, it's great. Lids, I'm glad to see that you're safe. Let's leave this place already. I did not cheat, SBS. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> you're lying to everybody. No one has the right to take away anyone's future or anyone's world. All right. So, I, what, did we just leave now? Can I, like, escape rope? That sure be handy. Does that... Will it let me do that? That sure be nice. If it, if it considered considered that... Uh, wait, hold on. Where is it? Like, okay, here we go. Use this item. <laughs> SVS says you use the instant win item. Totally cheating. It's not cheating! <laughs> it's not... <laughs> I did good. Okay, cool. Here we go. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, uh, I uh, originally I had been planning to, to do some uh, Grand Underground stuff, but uh, I didn't think that it would actually take as long to, to get through uh, the Spirit Pillar event as it wound up taking. So um, I think what I'll go ahead and do is save that for the next stream, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and actually um, uh, wrap up stream. Um, we did the thing. We did the Spear Pillar. We got the Dialga. We beat the, we beat the Cyrus. We did all of the things. Um, so very, very good. Uh, I think... If I'm not mistaken, um, what that probably means is the next um, the next stream may just wind up being the finale uh, of Brilliant Diamond. Um, so that's pretty exciting stuff. The, or I should say, the next Brilliant Diamond stream, of course, will be the will be the finale because we're we're doing a Pokemon trading card game tomorrow because it's Friday. Um, but yeah, uh, that means that Saturday Saturday is officially. Um, most likely going to be the finale of, of Brilliant Diamond, which is, yeah, that's really cool. Um, good good progress. Very, very good progress. Um, but yeah, so this is where I'll go ahead and wrap up for the day then. Um, yeah, uh, I'm really I'm really pleased with what we all got, what all we got done. Uh, we, we beat the essentially the main story of the game, so that's really good. And uh, yeah, so uh, like I was saying, 11.30 uh, a.m. Pacific time tomorrow, we'll be jumping back into our spinoff Friday game, um, which of course is Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color. Very, very fun. And then, uh, yeah, we'll finish up uh, Brilliant Diamond on Saturday. Uh, Callie says, I feel like this playthrough is super fast. I know, it does feel super, super fast. Um, I was going to say, uh, assuming that all, all goes according to plan on Saturday, uh, it will be nine total streams for this one, uh, which, I, I don't know, it feels, I guess maybe it's just because we like have that little gap in between, but it feels like, it feels like it's, that's a lot of streams. <laughs> it feels like, it, it does feel like it went by really, really quickly. But uh, yeah, kind of wild. Um, but yeah, so oh goodness, goodness gracious, SBS, cut me some slack. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and take the opportunity to end off here. And yeah, uh, I hope you all will join me for the next uh, uh, Brilliant Diamond stream, uh, the big finale. Um, thanks everybody for coming. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for Trading Card Game. Take care. Have a wonderful day.